You're watching NASA TV. Good day from Mission Control in Houston and the International Space Station Flight Control Room as you are looking live at the Poisk module on the space-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Inside, two Roscosmos cosmonauts, Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin. They are suited up in their uh, Orlan spacesuits, ready to begin a six-hour, 50-minute spacewalk to retrieve and uh, discard old uh, scientific equipment that has been on the outside of the Zvezda service module for a number of years and to install new data transmission radio hardware for high-speed uh, data and telemetry capability from the Russian segment of the International Outpost. For uh, Dmitry uh, Patelin and Sergei Prokopiev, this is their fifth spacewalk together. It is the 266th spacewalk in support of Space Station Assembly Maintenance and Upgrades, the ninth to be conducted out of the International Space Station this year. It is the seventh spacewalk for Expedition 69 crew members. This will be the fourth out of the Poisk module as an airlock staging area. Three, of course, out of the U.S. Quest airlock. This will be the seventh spacewalk in Prokopiev's career. Six previous spacewalks have garnered him 42 hours and 16 minutes of spacewalking time. For Patelin, his fifth spacewalk, four previous excursions have totaled 26 hours and 45 minutes. As has been the case uh, with the uh, most recent Russian spacewalks, uh, Prokopiev will be EV-1 or extravehicular crew member number one, wearing the Orlon suit bearing the red stripes. His helmet camera designation today is 16. Dmitry Patelin, EV-2, or extravehicular crew member number two, uh, will be wearing the Orlon suit with the blue stripes for designation. His helmet camera designation is 20, and you'll be seeing helmet camera views of uh, the two cosmonauts as they uh, perform their work outside of the Russian segment of the station. Here in the uh, flight control room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, uh, a handover is complete. The Orbit 2 team is on console, ready uh, to support uh, what is required during the course of the day and to uh, talk when necessary to the other members of the Expedition 69 crew aboard the International Outpost. Across the ocean at the Russian Mission Control Center on the outskirts of Moscow in the town of Korolyov, Russian flight controllers are on console. They are in charge of today's uh, spacewalk by Prokopiev and Patelin as they watch uh, the two cosmonauts run through their uh, pre-spacewalk preparations. Uh, they suited up about an hour or so ago with the assistance of a uh, crew member and uh, Expedition nine, uh, 69 crewmate uh, Andrei Fedyaev. They uh, uh, stepped into their Orlon spacesuits. The suits were closed. Leak checks were performed, communications checks as well, and uh, the Poisk airlock is all buttoned up and has gone through the initial phases of depressurization. The spacewalk is scheduled to begin at about 9.20 a.m. Central Time, 10.20 a.m. Eastern Time. A Russian spacewalk uh, is designated uh, for elapsed time by the time uh, that the hatch is opened on the Poisk airlock to the time the hatch is closed. And we... Uh, as usual, we'll wait uh, for official confirmation of those times from the Russian flight control team in the Russian Mission Control Center. Today's work uh, is uh, multifaceted, a number of activities uh, throughout the course of uh, the six-hour, 50-minute spacewalk. The first uh, item uh, to be addressed is the removal of a science experiment called Seismoprognos, uh, which is hardware on the Zvezda service module that has uh, been out for some time monitoring seismic activity back on Earth. It uh, will be removed and it will be jettisoned uh, aft of the International Space Station's Russian segment in a trajectory that will ensure no possibility of recontact with the orbital outpost. 
The uh, two cosmonauts then will remove and jettison a high-speed data transmission system stanchion called a monoblock uh, that has been uh, installed and out uh, on the Russian segment of the station for a number of years. Uh, a third item to be jettisoned will be a telemetry uh, hardware monoblock or stanchion. So uh, those items no longer needed on board uh, the International Space Station for Russian uh, telemetry and data capability. Those three items to be uh, removed and jettisoned as the first uh, three tasks in today's spacewalk. The uh, two cosmonauts will be installing a brand new data transmission radio hardware system, uh, which will uh, provide upgraded and high-speed uh, telemetry capability on uh, activities aboard uh, the Russian segment of the International Space Station. The uh, two cosmonauts then will uh, proceed to remove uh, two experiments, one called the impact experiment, which is a micrometeoroid impact uh, impact experiment that has been on the outside of the Zvezda service module for some time, and the removal of a cassette container from the uh, service module, uh, which is a material science sample payload that uh, was installed 19 years ago, collecting data on uh, the effect of a low Earth orbit uh, environment on material science samples. The uh, two cosmonauts will uh, make their way all the way back to the very rear of the Zvezda service module to take photos of uh, plume deflectors on the uh, service module thrusters for engineering analysis uh, by uh, experts on the ground at the Russian Mission Control Center. They will take additional photos of the aft end of the service module and the uh, antenna boom uh, at the back end of the service module uh, upon which is mounted the Lyra antenna. It's a large high data rate antenna on Zvezda that provides uh, uh, video and high speed telemetry capability from the Russian segment. They will also take photos uh, of the uh, exterior of the Russian segment of the station uh, for uh, an experiment, a uh, gamma ray collection experiment that has been uh, on the uh, exterior of the station for some time. They also plan as their final task today, time permitting, to remove a, a container uh, of an uh, experiment that's on the Poisk module near the airlock hatch itself. That's called the BioRisk experiment uh, that contains biological samples that have been exposed to the environment of space. So all of that activity planned out uh, throughout the course of the day today. We have an animation that uh, puts into more detail all of those tasks in chronological order. So t let's take a look at that animation right now. Russian Spacewalk 59 will be conducted by Sergei Prokopiev, EV-1 in the red stripes, and Dmitry Patelin, EV-2 in the blue stripes. To start the spacewalk, crew will egress the Poisk airlock with a cable carrier bundle and a data transmission radio monoblock. After egress, they'll activate the Orlon sublimators, turn on the helmet video and lights, then begin translation to the Zvezda module. After arriving at the first Zvezda patch panel, the crew will open a multi-insulation layer flap and mate a connector from the cable bundle to the panel. They'll take closeout photos, reinstall the flap, and begin routing the newly installed cable to the Zena side of the module. Once the crew completes the second cable mate, Dimitri will retrieve the stowed radio monoblock and follow Sergei down to the next work site, continuing to route the cable as they go. Once Sergei and Dimitri arrive at the Port Zvezda module work site, they'll work to remove two existing monoblocks, a Seismo Prognos payload, and a high speed data transmission system. To do this, they'll release the connectors and locks. Sergei will then proceed to jettison both items. After jettison, they'll release a final TMTC monoblock that Sergei will stow on his suit while Dmitri proceeds to install the new data transmission radio via structural locks, four connectors, and the release of two protective shrouds.
Sergey will then take the TMTC monoblock and jettison the unit in the station aft direction. Both crew will proceed further aft along the Svezda module where they'll remove a science experiment and take imagery of the plume deflectors. Sergey will then translate to the aft face of the module and retrieve a cassette container. Meanwhile, Dimitri will proceed with imagery of an antenna boom interface. The crew will then meet back up and begin translation, station forward, back to the poise scare lock. stow the remaining hardware from the Zvezda module tasks and continue to the final work site of the day at the top of the Poisk module. Here, they'll have a short task to retrieve a bio-risk payload before continuing back to the airlock. After inspecting each other's suits, the crew will ingress and close the hatch, ending Russian Spacewalk 59. And a detailed look at uh, all the activity that's associated with uh, today's spacewalk coming up by Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin. They uh, have completed uh, their pre-breathe of pure oxygen to cleanse their bloodstreams of nitrogen and prevent any a condition known as the bends or decompression sickness from occurring when they step outside into the vacuum of space. The uh, Poise airlock is uh, in the final stages of being depressurized prior to uh, the go for final uh, suit checks and transmission checks from the two cosmonauts in the airlock before they uh, are given the green light to open up the hatch to Poisk to mark the official start of today's spacewalk. Again, what is the pressure for the suit pressure gauge? Zero decimal three eight and zero decimal three nine. Okay, so now you may open KS2. The International Space Station with the Expedition 69 crew is uh, orbiting about 260 statute miles above the southern Indian Ocean, about to begin a southwest to northeasterly track to carry it across the east coast of Australia and out over the Pacific Ocean, orbiting uh, in an inclination of 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. The uh, space station is functioning normally, no issues uh, being worked by the flight control team here in Houston or in the other centers around the world in support of space station operations. 220. As you saw in the animation and as we uh, conducted in the rundown of the tasks, associated with uh, today's spacewalk. Most of the work will be uh, in and around the vicinity of the Zvezda service module, which is approaching the 23rd anniversary of its launch back in July of 2000 on a proton rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Okay, what is the suit pressure now? Zero decimal three eight. Copy. 
is so still the same. Good. Prokopiev and uh, Patelin uh, will be uh, conducting uh, systems checks on their Orlon suits. Again, Prokopiev uh, will be distinguished uh, by the Orlon suit bearing the red stripes today as uh, the EV-1 or extravehicular number one crew member, Dmitry Patelin, who uh, Prokopiev launched with along with NASA's Frank Rubio last September and who will be returning on September 27th to wrap up 371 days in space for that trio. Patelin will be wearing the Orlon suit uh, with the blue stripes today as EV-2 or extravehicular crew member number two. All right, we are verifying the injector, turning it off after five minutes. Great. So please make sure that the LEDs for the injector are no longer illuminated, and um, for pneumatic valve, it needs to be in the on position. Okay, and uh, the pressure is about 90. So, if the pressure is dropping, you need to put BSS in uh, the open position EVA once you uh, get the notification. And you will proceed for the algorithm. All right, I got the message. Copy. I think we'll get the next one just a little bit later. Seventy on the MV. Zero Today's spacewalk by Prokopiev and Patelin is the uh, third spacewalk out of the International Space Station by Expedition 69 crew members in just a bit over two weeks. The uh, previous two spacewalks on uh, June 5th, or actually June 9th, I should say, and the 15th were conducted by Steve Bowen and Woody Hoberg to install the, the latest in the series of ISS rollout solar arrays on the starboard truss of the International Space Station for the augmenting of power capability for both the 1A and 1B power channels right, on the International Outpost. 36 on the UDSK. Copy. 0.36. The uh, next Russian spacewalk which will be uh, Russian spacewalk What's number 60, is now targeted the for the early part of August, again by uh, Prokopiev and, and Patelin. That spacewalk will uh, see them conduct a number of tasks and uh, work uh, in concert with the European robotic arm on the installation of additional hardware and the outfitting of the Nyoka multipurpose laboratory module. And when you are at 20 millimeters in MRM2, please put BSS, uh, Orlan Interface Unit, in position O2 open for EVA, pressure 30. Copy.
The uh, poised air lock uh, continues uh, to be depressurized down to vacuum. Everything uh, proceeding on track. The spacewalk scheduled to begin at around 9.20 a.m. Central Time and uh, will be marked through its official start for elapsed time with the opening of the hatch to the Poisk module. And we are at pressure 20. Copy. You see that? Affirmative. All right, we are in O2 open EVA, copy, continue depressing down to 12 millimeters, and once you hit 12 on the MV, we'll be closing because there too, copy. Fifteen. Pressure is 12. Copy. Pressure is 12. I am open. I'm closing guys that too. Affirmative. Procopiev and Patelin uh, configuring uh, their Orlon suits for autonomous power at this point. So valve is closed. The LED is no longer illuminated. Great. What is the current pressure at the start of the leak check? At the start of the leak check? Unintelligible. 30 millimeters. Copy. We'll be standing by for five minutes. And uh, final leak checks now underway on the uh, two Orlon suits being worn right, by we'll the two cosmonauts. Copy. Once uh, the hatch is opened uh, and the elapsed time clock uh, begins to tick, the first order of business will be uh, for Prokopiev and Patelin to install a protective ring around uh, the hatchway to the Poisk module that will ensure that uh, no micrometeoroid uh, debris hits strike the outer surface of uh, the circumference of the hatch that would cause any issues uh, with the repressurization of the airlock upon the completion of today's spacewalk. Patelin will be first to exit the airlock itself. He will uh, set up some uh, tools and tethers and uh, take outside with him uh, some of the equipment uh, associated with uh, the installation tasks around the Zvezda service module during the course of the spacewalk as well as the removal of scientific hardware that has been exposed to the elements of space for some time.
life all quiet uh, here in uh, Mission Control in Houston, as well as uh, on the loops at the moment, as the Russian flight controllers that you see there on this balcony view in the Russian uh, Mission Control Center outside of Moscow stand by for the completion of the depressurization of the uh, Poisk airlock, as well as the uh, final suit leak checks that will be followed by communications checks with Prokopiev and Patelin before they get uh, the go-ahead to open up the hatch to Poisk to mark the official start of today's excursion. Dima, five minutes is up. Sergey, let's verify what is the um, pressure in MRM2 after the leak check. 11.5. All right, so the delta is, no, is less than 2 millimeters. And Dima, you can go to Q card 7, step 11, switching to autonomous uh, independent power supply for the suits. Copy, Q card 7, step 11, and the uh, handle for the heat exchanger we are putting in position hot cold uh, to chill the suits and uh, on Odeska, we see 0.3534, 37, 0 0.37 for the second one, and we are shutting off all consume, uh, consuming power consuming units and switching to autonomous power right and just start the suits chill. Copy. All right, so you turn off uh, pump power, and then you switch to a primary, and then stand by for the uh, LED notification malvent. Copy. And then you switch to the autonomous power. I am EV1 is an autonomous power. Dima, how are you? All right. We are on autonomous power. I am on autonomous power as well. So verify that the pumps and fans are on. The, uh, the, you are on primary. And, uh, and as you can hear from uh, the interpreter, the uh, two Orlon suits now on an internal power as they will be for the course of today's spacewalk, uh, which is expected to last just under seven hours in duration. Unintelligible two for EV2. 27 and two, okay. And when you transition to autonomous, um, autonomous power, it needs to be unintelligible 14. We'll continue. Sounds good. All right. We are shutting off the heat exchanger, tow mode. Uh, verifying the power for the tow heat exchanger. Uh, pressing suit one and two. Kopi Evan Patelin, uh, just about uh, right on the timeline for uh, pre-spacewalk preparations. All is in readiness for them uh, to receive approval from uh, the Russian flight uh, controllers in Korolev to uh, open the hatch to the Poisk module. And the EV-1 has disconnected the electrical umbilical. Copy. Electrical umbilical of for the suits needs to be covered up with the MLI. Copy. Closing them. The International Space Station is flying over the Coral Sea from southwest and northeast at an altitude of about 260 statute miles. All right, and we're disconnecting the fluid umbilical from the Orlan copy. We're disconnecting the umbil uh, fluid umbilicals. And you can cover up the um, fluid umbilical connectors with caps. Copy.
fluid umbilical for EV1. Connector is closed with the MLI flap. Copy. And put BSS in position. O2 primary. BSS is closed. And O2 is closed, right? O2 is closed. All right. What is your... Um, Pressure in the suits on the uh, UDS cow line pressure gauge, 0 0.37. 0 0.37 is for EV1, and what's the... Suit pressure checks underway. Final communications checks uh, are being completed. The uh, final steps toward uh, the opening of the hatch to the Poisk module that will start the clock ticking on the elapsed time for today's excursion. And Sergey, have you closed up the valve with the MLI flap? Yes. And Dima, you did report about closing it as well. Yes. Copy. And I'm handing you over to Artyom. And I will hear you back again during the repress. Sounds great. Thank you. And, and just uh, as is the case with U.S. spacewalks out of the Quest airlock, the uh, flight uh, controllers uh, in charge of preparing the two cosmonauts for the spacewalk have swapped uh, positions now with a uh, different uh, flight controller now uh, in charge of the choreography for uh, Prokopiev and Patelin once they move outside the airlock to begin their work. Well, our final uh, timeline, 7100, that's... Uh, the timeline that you're going to be using today, that's the final. And let's start prepping the hatch and verify that everything's secured. Well, all the tools and uh, equipment is secured, So, and you are secured as well. Yes, we are. We are. With uh, adjustable... Uh, reds copy. So now verify that you are ready to open the EV hatch and that the handle is in position closed EVA. Yes. And the screws for emergency uh, hatch closure are all screwed out right, like they're all, all the way out. Now, start with configuring to open the hatch. Copy. All right, it's going to be in the operational, uh, I see the operational position flag or indicator. Copy. Okay. 
and uh, I confirm the rollers are out and I'm sewing the all right now the handle for the pusher needs to be pulled towards you till hard stop and verify that the gap between the hatch is and the frame is increasing copy All right. We are in insulation. Uh, we are in the orbital night for the next five minutes. Once we get out, uh, you can egress. Copy, and I'm handing it over to Sergey. All right, and did you manage to uh, pull the hatch a little bit towards you? No, it's not open yet. Copy. Standing by for the opening of the hatch to the poised module. Okay, and I confirm the gap is increasing, and the hatch is open. Well, EV PD timer has started. Copy. And I'm opening the hatch. I confirm hatch opening. Copy. All the way. All right, we have the hatch secured. I am removing the slack. Copy. And you can start with installing protective ring. All right, 1424 is the time of the hatch opening. Yes, 1424. And I have selected set the slack. Copy. I turned the protective ring. The logs are in uh, the operational position. Copy. How is it? This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow confirm the start time of today's spacewalk at 9.24 a.m. Central Time, 10.24 a.m. Eastern Time. The Poisk hatch is open, allowing uh, Patelin uh, to move out first, followed by Prokopiev. Just a couple of minutes uh, behind the scheduled uh, start time. No harm, no foul. 9.24 a.m. Central Time, 10.24 a.m. Eastern Time, marking the start of the 266th spacewalk in support of Space Station Assembly, Maintenance and Upgrades. Oh, no, no, no. It's UKP. I'm sorry. It's UKP. Uh, cable platform. Do you, want, do you want to take it out with you? Well, I can actually hand it over to you. All right. Sounds good.
All right, adjustable tether, red, is secured to uh, handrail, 1029, copy. And you're going to be in uh, sunrise in about uh, 40 seconds, copy. All right. The tether is outside. All right. I am EV2 is outside. And as the International Space Station uh, passes into an orbital sunrise over the Pacific Ocean, you can see uh, dimly lit, but uh, lit nonetheless. The uh, cosmonauts beginning to emerge from the Poisk airlock. Again, uh, the official start time of today's spacewalk was 9.24 a.m. Central Time, 10.24 a.m. Eastern Time. And you can see uh, the first of the two cosmonauts outside of the Poisk airlock which is uh, located on the space-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. And I have secured my trans transportational tether. That is a view of uh, Dmitry Patelin. Uh, the two cosmonauts uh, have installed a protective ring around the circumference of the Poisk airlock hatch. Patelin now outside is uh, configuring his safety tethers and will take a, a bundle of equipment outside uh, on a handoff from Prokopia before they make their way to their first wet work site on these Vezda service module. And uh, you can turn on your sublimators now. Okay, sublimators are on, copy. For EV2, the sublimator is on, copy. For EV1, the sublimator is on. Copy. This is Mission Control Houston, again a view of uh, Dmitry Patelin, who is outside of the Poisk airlock, beginning uh, the fifth spacewalk of his career, all of them, with the Expedition 69 commander, Sergei Prokopiev, who is about to emerge from the airlock, now in the seventh spacewalk of his career. Artem, please remind me about the first panel that we have to work with. It's number seven. And panel number one, you will do it uh, after number seven. Copy. Okay, let me get my bearings. Okay. 
Okay, here it is. The first letter, here it is. You can also activate uh, the ISTR thermal control system. Uh, so we start from the cold position, correct? Yes, you may select it. Second tether is secured. ISTR положение ноль. So put the ISTR thermal control system selector switch in position zero. Copy that zero. Panel number one is secured onto each other outside, and uh, when you egress completely, turn on the helmet camera. Will do. Turning it on. Okay, turning on the helmet cameras now. And both the light indicators are in green. Copy. So both LEDs I can see in my mirror. They are illuminated. Good. 
I'm holding the VKU unit copy. Dima, you have UKP secured on yourself. So the tether that's on you is the short one, correct? As we agreed before. And when you proceed to plate number seven, then you have to unhook and uh, rehook the tether. Yes, I remember. Tether is twisted here. It's a little bit further, closer to the target. Copy that, uh, closer to the target. Lock is secured on circular handrail of MRM2. Copy. VPI monoblock is uh, secured. And also remember to check as you translate along your pathway. Remember to check the cable holders if. Uh, they are loose or if they are sitting properly, seated properly. This is Mission Control Houston, 17 and a half minutes into uh, what is expected to be about a six hour, 50 minute spacewalk today. Dmitry Patelin and Sergei Prokopiev both outside of the Poisk airlock as they set up equipment before making their way back to the uh, Zvezda service module at the rear of the Russian segment of the International Space Station to begin their work that will start uh, with the removal of uh, science experiments and uh, stanchions upon which other equipment have been mounted 
and uh, the jettisoning of uh, those items that will be aft of the Russian segment, well out of the way of the space station, with no chance for recontacting the complex. Holder here seems to be pretty well seated. Now I can see the patch panel number seven. And I'm going to move them beyond the target. And our first uh, view from uh, the helmet camera on uh, Sergei Prokopiev, the Expedition 69 commander, now on the seventh spacewalk of his career, on the fifth spacewalk that he is sharing with uh, Dmitry Patelin outside of the International <laughs> Space Station. The uh, two cosmonauts are moving uh, a uh, number of experiments on a cable carrier to a connector patch panel on the Zvezda service module uh, to begin uh, the process of uh, opening up a thermal cover on that panel and uh, demating several connectors so that uh, the first of the uh, science experiments no longer needed uh, for data collection, the Seismoprognos science hardware, can be removed and jettisoned. So we can see you, Dmitry, and the connector we need is the one that's further away from you. All right. Okay, I am going towards the connector that's further away from me. Uh, okay, we need the one that is 
Он здесь единственный состыкованный. It's the only connector made it here. Am I correct? It's number 7-9. Yes, okay, I'm um, checking the cable. If it says the same number, yes, it does. Okay, now stand by for our command. Okay, we have a go, so you can demate this connector. HFP 7-9. Copy that. It's now demated. Copy. So we leave the cable somewhere here. Для подключения его на фиксирующей плате где-то прибандажировать. I'll think of something. And in any case, you may use this uh, wire tie. Okay, this is good right here. Copy. From the reel. Yes, you may start. Copy. Will it be all right for you to hand over the reel to me later? Uh, let me first uh, uh, try to prepare it for you. Dim, ты наверное не тот разъем начал вытаскивать. Dim, maybe you started on the wrong connector. Yes, I'm thinking about it. Это узкий кабель у нас, который. It should be the narrow cable. Okay, I understand now. It's inside. And uh, did you loosen all cable holders on your way to here? Uh, yes, I did as much as I could, and uh, we'll go further and see how it goes. Under the target, uh, I have a cable holder that is uh, not occupied. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin are at a connector patch panel uh, at the uh, intersection of uh, the Zvezda service module and uh, the rest of the uh, interconnecting uh, module area of the International Space Station as they work uh, to uh, demade a series of cables that have uh, linked a uh, science experiment called Seismoprognos, uh, which measures seismic activity back on Earth. Uh, that uh, experiment and its uh, associated stanchion will be jettisoned uh, once it is removed as the first task of today's spacewalk, which is featured uh, with the removal 
of a number of uh, science experiments no longer needed uh, on the Russian segment of the station, their data having been collected over a number of years, and the installation of a high-speed data transmission radio system. All right, stand in by. I secured it to my fixed length tether. And now I can pull the tether this way under the handrail, I think. And now the connector. I have to get it closer to you. Okay, I have it. I'm ready to make the connector HFP7-9. Yes, you have a go to made it. Copy. Checking the cap of the cable connector, checking the pin out. Everything nominal. Checking the labeling, and uh, it is correct. HFP 7-9. Connector is secured. Copy. But can you read the cable number on this connector? The one from Ukape, no, the one that was there before. There are no numbers. It says HFP79. But uh, at the lower side of the connector, yes, it says HFP79. Okay, so it is mated. That is good. And there are no other labels or numbers. As you can see. No, no, no. And please make sure that uh, there is as little contact with the target um, as possible. Copy. I shall try to do so. The uh, two cosmonauts uh, working in tandem outside as we approach the 33-minute mark in today's spacewalk are in the process of uh, demating and remating a series of connectors, uh, basically uh, power cables uh, associated with uh, the first of the experiments uh, that will be removed and jettisoned uh, during today's spacewalk. 
The uh, two cosmonauts will be removing a seismic detection experiment, a high-speed data transmission system and its associated stanchion, and a telemetry uh, hardware bundle uh, with its stanchion, all of those uh, to be removed and jettisoned uh, to the aft of the uh, International Space Station with a trajectory that will ensure that uh, there is no chance for recontact with the orbital outpost. And uh, you may close the MLI flaps and please uh, check your ERCO camera. Yes, LED is not illuminated, so I can turn it back on. Yes, please. It is on and the LED is illuminated. Thank you. We are getting the video from your camera now. I'm closing the MLI flap now. Copy that. We can see that. MLI flap is now closed. Copy. The view from the uh, helmet camera of Expedition 69 Commander Sergei Prokopiev as he works uh, with Dmitry Patelin in the early stages of today's spacewalk, reconfiguring a number of uh, connectors at a patch panel that uh, will enable them to remove uh, a series of science and telemetry experiments and associated hardware for their jettisoning as they uh, reconfigure systems on the International Space Station for the installation of uh, more modern-day equipment. Sergey, and not to have to tighten the wing nut with the wrench, you can move those sides apart a little bit so it will be easier. Done. Copy. And now you can help Dima a little bit with the uh, cable carrier and the tether that's secured to the handrail, secure it to the second handrail, too. Uh -huh. Sounds good. All right, I have it secured. Copy. The uh, connector work that is ongoing uh, by Prokopiev and Patelin uh, will uh, be the precursor to the installation of a new high-speed uh, data transmission radio hardware on the uh, Zvezda service module a bit later in today's spacewalk. This uh, new data transmission hardware will replace uh, an older system, uh, providing a much more efficient uh, data and telemetry capability for work uh, ongoing in the Russian segment of the station. I have just uh, one request. When you're going to be moving UKP closer, do not pull it by the cables towards yourself. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. 
All right. And we'll have to probably um, remove it from the reel and secure it. Kopiev and Battellan are in the process of uh, routing uh, these uh, cables to uh, another patch panel on the Zvezda service module for the upcoming installation of data trans transmission hardware that is one of the major objectives of today's spacewalk. All right, I have secured it near the holder. I have um, installed the uh, cable holder. Okay. Copy. And I'm going to tighten them here. The clamps. And you can also um, tighten the stanchion. Okay. Well, it's for the, um, the stanchion of the cable holder. All right, yeah, it was a little bit loose. Copy, it's, it's good enough. Translating a little bit. All right, uh, and you see the translation handrail. And now take the monoblock and move in the direction of UKP. And as you go, be mindful of the cable holder. So you're going to give me the reel back, right? Yes. This view from uh, Dmitry Patelin's helmet camera and a good view of Expedition 69 Commander Sergei Prokopiev, well into the seventh spacewalk of his career as he works uh, with a number of cables securing uh, those cables uh, to a connector panel for the uh, upcoming installation of uh, hardware called the Data Transmission Radio System, high-speed data and telemetry capability to be offered uh, once that uh, hardware is activated. All right, we need to, we probably need to untwine it. So what handrail are you talking about? I can't really read the number here. Yeah, it's kind of the remains of the markings. 2233 maybe?
свожу. All right, I have loosened. The loop. Okay, let me translate. And I'm uh, taking the monoblock. Да, принято. Copy. Secured with adjustable tether, and I need to move to the adapter now, right? Got it? The uh, two cosmonauts continuing uh, to route uh, a bundle of cables 
to a connector patch panel for the uh, installation upcoming of a high-speed uh, data transmission system on the Zvezda service module as we approach the 49-minute mark into uh, today's spacewalk that began with the opening of the hatch to the Poisk airlock at 9.24 a.m. Central Time, 10.24 a.m. Eastern Time. As you are translating, please verify that your French hooks are closed because sometimes the handrails are too big for the French hook to close on its own uh, easily, so you need to make sure that it closes. Okay. Will do. All right, I'm going around on the left side. And, Andre, uh, did you free up the cable holder? That's going to be from plate uh, one. It should be on the right-hand side. Yes. Give me a second. And you will start rotating the battery along plane two. Okay, copy. I have loosened the cable uh, cable holder in uh, the area uh, around the adapter, and the one that's uh, a little bit uh, more to the right near the beta end mono block, the one that I have now. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I'll get it configured. Copy. Then, Sergey, since you're next to plate 12, you can secure the um, connected to the glisser or with the glisser. Copy. As far as I understand, the MLI flap is not does not have the um, side with the Velcro hooks in a really good. It's not in a really good condition. And uh, it would be great if you could take a picture of how you close that valve, cut or cover it up. All right, will do. Flying 260 miles over the southeastern Atlantic Ocean off the uh, western coast of Africa, the International Space Station moving from northwest to southeast as Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin approach the one-hour mark into today's spacewalk, continuing uh, to work with a series of cable connectors 
for the uh, upcoming installation of a high-speed data transmission system. This is just part of uh, the work uh, to remove and jettison uh, equipment no longer needed, scientific equipment no longer needed on the outside of the Zvezda service module, and uh, the installation of uh, new hardware for high-speed data transmission, as well as the uh, extensive collection of uh, photography of the external surfaces of the uh, service module for engineering analysis on the ground. So, just uh, uh, make sure to um, Report. Oh, did you find connector that ends in uh, that is 49 unintelligible three? Yes. Well, uh, I'm, I'm okay. So you need to take pictures of that connector. It's a low frequency um, connector. It may not be connected. Mm, okay. Or maybe one of those connectors. Uh, well, you just need to um, check which one is connected, which one is not connected, and let us know. Okay. And, Sergey, when you have a second, could you please check your hacker camera? Oh, yeah. Give me a second. Well, so A3 uh, or A3, we have it, the connector. Okay, so take pictures and close it with an MLI flap. And also, once you close it out, could you please take pictures as well? Yeah, the uh, cover is not secured, so here. That's ours, right? No, no, no. It's the one that you need to take pictures of. But the ones that you need are on the platform or plate that's one. So, platform or plate one um, for us. Okay. Then I'm putting the connectors back. Yes. For now, as we are moving to, like, I can see FVP uh, 1. It's uh, closer to the large diameter. No, it should be right in front of you, basically. Yeah, I see something. Yes, that's what it is. That's great. You need to find connector one, one, three there. Not the, not it's B, brother, but uh, just plain one, one. Uh, just plain. Connector one. The uh, cosmonauts continuing okay. to work uh, with one, connectors three. at a and patch panel for the uh, upcoming installation of a high data and transmission then, system. Our new cable, you connect it. The uh, crew uh, is reported to be about 30 minutes ahead of its timeline, having started uh, the spacewalk just under an hour ago at 9:24 a.m. Central Time. Talk on CSS for six, seven minutes, but if we go completely LOS, so please stand by for our go. All right, sounds good.
Да, Сафакаген 3. И у нас через три минуты будет... И вы будете идти в орбиту Твайлайт. И, пожалуйста, нажмите на свои лайты, если нужно. Хорошо? Хорошо. Is found. Okay, and it's connected to connector one three, right? Yes, it is. And let me read out the uh, markings on it on the platform. So, uh, cable connector. 17KS10U8510A-80. Uh, this is the one that we need. You, you, you will need to connect it. All right, I'll, I'll be ready to do it. And we got to go to disconnect it. Copy. The uh, cosmonauts in the process of uh, removing a uh, old data transmission system and its associated stanchion. Right, so this uh, will be one of the connected. items uh, to be jettisoned overboard Copy. and replaced uh, with the installation of a new high-speed data transmission and system. The one that we don't need, we are going to leave it, right? Yes. So... PET is one hour, just as an FYI, guys. Copy. Sergey, if you are done with that flat plate, you can start translating and also loosen the cable holder as you go. Okay. All right, I have loosened it. Copy. And we're in twilight or orbital night. And the next is going to be um, like a French hook holder. And I'm uh, moving to um, the circular handrail. And once you get there, please stand by there and wait for Dima or Dmitri. Sounds good. Intelligible. Okay, I'm at the circular handrail, so please stand by there and wait for Dmitri EV2. Copy.
Сергей, и вот смотри, ты левой рукой... Сергей, you are holding on to Апас. Принято. Be where you hold on to. Copy. One hour, three minutes into uh, today's spacewalk by Prokopiev and Patelin. We're in a momentary handover uh, between satellites on our tracking and data relay satellite system. The uh, two cosmonauts working uh, outside in the uh, vicinity of the uh, Zvezda service module have uh, disconnected and reconnected a number of uh, cables for patch panels uh, that will be used uh, to activate a high-speed data transmission system uh, to be installed a short time from now, and are uh, preparing uh, other hardware for the removal of a seismic detection experiment, an older high-speed data transmission system and its stanchion, and a telemetry system and its stanchion, three jettisons and all, uh, to be executed later in today's spacewalk. As we wait uh, for a reacquisition of uh, a downlink television capability from the station a short time from now, just moments from now, the uh, complex and the Expedition 69 crew flying 260 miles over the southern Indian Ocean, about to sweep uh, from southwest and northeast across the continent of Australia. We're one hour, six minutes into today's spacewalk. Again, the 266th in uh, support of space station assembly, maintenance, and upgrades, the ninth spacewalk conducted out of the International Space Station this year. This is the seventh spacewalk for Expedition 69 crew members, four out of Poisk, three out of Quest, the seventh spacewalk in Sergei Prokopiev's career, and the fifth for Dmitry Patelin. And then KPP-13 has been made. It's Okay, copy. Copy, Dmitry. So you already placed everything there? All the connectors, did you stow them? What do you mean, what do you mean stow? Well, yes. Yes, I put them into the uh, uh, Lyrica clip. Okay, copy. Then when you're done with taking photographs, you can close the valve. Copy. Is the solar array going to be tucked in? Is it going to be uh, rotated? Uh, so that, yes, it's going to be rotated even further after Dmitri passes, pa uh, goes past the KPP adapter. Okay, copy. 
I don't think it's going to be very convenient in this current position. Okay, I did put that away. I think I put everything away. The uh, rotation of the uh, solar array offered uh, in that uh, conversation between Sergei Prokopiev and the Russian flight control team in Korolyov has to do uh, with positioning uh, the solar arrays on the Zvezda service module in the right orientation uh, to permit uh, the releasing of the stanchion holding uh, the older high-speed data transmission system that is being discarded, jettisoned uh, by the two cosmonauts, part of uh, one of three items uh, to be jettisoned during today's spacewalk. Mitchell, did you turn it on? Yes, it's on. in there and put the loose end in there. Okay, copy. Thank you. So there is a good margin available. So, and uh, uh, 13B, and we're going to keep it uh, here, open. Yes, going to be on that plate. Okay. Can I, uh, can I tighten, can I pull it up so I can route it? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to translate. So I'm going to move it closer. So are you going to route it above or below? Uh, below. Okay, I'm going to go there as well. So the LED is on. Speaking simultaneously. I think you turned off and turned on the one. Oh, okay. I, I see the one that's on top. Yes, I see it. The LED is on. Copy, thank you. 
Okay. I apologize. Uh, adapter DPP, ты перешагнул. Did you step over the DPP adapter? Uh, yes. There is only one here. Мы будем вращать солнечные батареи. So we're going to rotate solar rays. Хорошо. Okay, copy, sounds good. Зафиксировал кабель. I have uh, secured the cable inside the hook. So I'm going to hold it on it. Uh, could you repeat the last? There was interference. Um, the cable is routed in the ca through the cable holder. Okay, copy. Thank you. We're going to start rotating the solar rays. Uh, please take a break at this time. Again, uh, the commanding uh, by the Russian flight controllers in Koryov to rotate the solar arrays on the Zvezda service module will place them in the uh, correct orientation for the removal and ultimate jettisoning of uh, the current uh, high-speed uh, data transmission hardware and the stanchion that it is mounted on. It is being replaced by a new system uh, that will be installed a short time from now. As, uh, to the large diameter. Okay, copy. Sounds good. My proposal, Sergey, is going to be for you, Sergey, to go ahead first. And as you go, you're going to uh, take uh, photographs of plate number 20 and number 3. And Dmitry, when you're going to follow uh, him, you're, it's going to be lighter. Uh, there will be more light, and you can take a backup photograph of the same place on uh, your camera. Okay, sounds good.
The uh, two cosmonauts at the one hour, 19 minute mark in the uh, spacewalk have uh, released the older data telemetry system monoblock, as it is called. This is the system and its associated stanchion that it is mounted on. This will be jettisoned later in the spacewalk aft of the International Space Station's Russian segment. So then we can stand by. The uh, Russian flight controllers will be inhibiting thrusters on the Zvezda service module that will enable uh, the two cosmonauts uh, to go to the correct area on uh, the service module itself for the jettisoning, jettisoning of equipment uh, that will take place about an hour to an hour and a half from now. So we're starting translation to the area of plane two. Use the soft handrail and continue translation. Okay, sounds good. In the area where Sergei is located, the IFR, IFR uh, handrails, please do not um, grab onto those handrails. Use the regular uh, standard handrails. Okay, copy sounds good. Sergey, along the way, you're going to have a handrail on the way to RMD. You can secure yourself to that handrail, and, and that will give you very good access to plate number 20. You can put the, uh, your permanent tether, permanent length tether and keep the adjustable out to yourself. Okay, I understand. Uh, the handrails are few and far between here.
я нахожусь в районе Якоря. I'm the vicinity of Anchor. Okay, copy. И вот как раз, видимо, в районе 20-й платы. Это 20-я плата как раз. And you're going to get there to the vicinity of uh, plate number 20. Kappa Pa 2. Это двадцатая плата у них. Plate number 20. It's just, it's plate number 20. Just zero is just labeling has worn off. Oh, okay. I got it. And we need you to find the connector number 20-2, 2-0-2. Okay, copy, 2-0-2. Лирка 20-2 is the clip. The clip number 20-2 is empty. Oh, I see. We need the connector, though. Oh, I see. The connector is in a different clip. Okay, you can move that connector to 0-2. Okay, copy. And also make sure that labeling is visible. Place it and then... Uh, perform the removal. Taking the photographs of plate number 20. Copy. Thank you. You can uh, close the MLI flap. Closing. I am in the vicinity. Uh, stand by one. Speaking simultaneously. Dimitri, will you be able to see plate number 20 from where you are located at this time? Plate number. 20 to zero, uh, where Sergey is working at this time. What I'm saying is it uh, would be good if you could take a uh, backup set of photographs. Well, I haven't, I haven't reached it yet. Okay, well, you don't have to, um, you don't have to go there. You can go to plate number three. I am currently... Принято. Сергей, а можешь uh, проверить? Мы с ним не получаем. Could you uh, check your HECA? Uh, we are not seeing the video. It, it has probably overseeded. I have both LEDs on. Можешь тогда переподключить ее? Could you turn it off and turn it back on, please? I uh, restarted it. Okay, copy. Thank you. Okay, 
And I am going behind the anchor. This is Mission Control Houston, one hour, 30 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk. Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin continue uh, to prepare for the uh, releasing of a uh, old data transmission system and its stanchion that it is mounted on after having uh, disconnected and reconnected a number of cables that will be used uh, for the installation and activation of a new high-speed data transmission system on the uh, Zvezda service module. The crew is running about uh, 20 minutes or so ahead of the timeline for the day, having uh, started their spacewalk with the opening of the Poisk module hatch at 9.24 a.m. Central Time. Have you passed by uh, plate three? Uh, plate three? Uh, number 21, number three. So plate number three should be immediately below. And there are two MOI flaps on this from the left and from the right. Uh, we need KPP three and two AR. Three and two AR. Three and two AR. Three uh, dash two AR. AR. Так, а у него это напись на кабеле, да? Uh, is the label on the cable itself? Both on the cable and on the connector. So I, I don't really know on which side, under which MOI flap, that connector is located. KPP 3-4, 3-4, 3. Is that connector mated? It's not mated. I can't. They're non-mated. Non but you can do it.
Я вижу 3-2 состыкованный. I see 3-2 I is made it, but what we need is 3-2 AR. So they're nearby. I need the one that has A in it. Copy. Okay, let's follow the connector that says 3 3. Maybe it's uh, in that vicinity. So, half a pair 3, there's two of them. And two of half a pair 2. Please check what is the corresponding part on that one. I mean three two. I apologize. And the glitter camera was on at the time, yes, it was. Okay. I think that is sufficient. So you can finish with this connector, close the MLI flap, and proceed to the S handrail. Will do. Да, вот уже сейчас расцветает. 
Все. И Сергей, выключи, пожалуйста, глиссер. Проверь, что ты его выключил. Сергей Прокопьев, Дмитрий Пателин, продолжает отправить и сохранить несколько кабелей для инсталляции будущего новой скорости трансмиссии системы на Звезда сервис модуле. The International Space Station about to pass into an orbital sunrise over the Pacific Ocean. One hour, 42 minutes into uh, the spacewalk, the cosmonauts continuing uh, to make methodical progress uh, as they uh, make their way through a maze of uh, cables and uh, connectors uh, that are being reconfigured on patch panels for a high-speed data transmission system to be installed a short time from now. I think the one that's closer to your hand will be better. Copy? Yeah, yeah. Yes, please. Yes, that is correct. 
With uh, all of the cables associated with this high-speed data transmission replacement having uh, been secured and connected uh, on the proper patch panel, the two cosmonauts uh, will make their way over to uh, what is called a monoblock or stanchion upon which the seismoprognosis experiment is mounted. This uh, has measured over the course of uh, a number of years seismic activity back on Earth for scientists to analyze uh, back at the Russian Mission Control Center. Uh, this uh, device will be uh, removed and jettisoned as part of the first of three such jettisons of uh, older equipment no longer needed uh, for uh, investigations on the International Space Station. Cables will go towards the F-shaped handrails. Yes. But here, um, one part goes up, and I think that's uh, towards Icarus. Okay, I will stow this block here on handrail 2621. Uh, just leave it where it will not be in the way. We have a goal to dismantle the seismic prognosis, so when you are ready, you can start working on it. And if you need it, you may take a, a breather. Will do.
близок как раз около сейсмого прогноза. I'm close to seismic prognosis equipment now. Copy. I can start demating the cables. Yes, you have a go to demate the cable and then secure the cables to a handrail bracket. Copy. Will do. The two cosmonauts uh, at the one hour 51 minute mark in today's spacewalk are in the process of uh, securing uh, the stanchion or monoblock that holds the seismoprognos seismic detection experiment so that uh, connectors uh, that have held that experiment in place uh, to provide data transmission of its results uh, back to the ground. Those uh, connectors will be demated and uh, the experiment itself and its stanchion will be removed from its location on the Zvezda service module to be jettisoned during today's spacewalk. Remember to secure them to a cable holder bracket. OKP needs two tethers to secure it. Принято. Copy. And leave it in this vicinity somewhere, as long as it's uh, not close to Icarus. Copy. Maybe you can take some rest for now before you proceed with the demating. Will do. And you may start on demating connectors on SVPE monoblock when you are ready. Copy SVPE is next.
Сергей, я думал, ты в лифте уберешь. ТМПС. Да? А ТМПС это... ТМПС это ближе в сторону первой плоскости. ТПИ надо. Основание, у которого левее. Сейчас уже правее. Да. В сторону, в сторону второй плоскости, ближе. Окей, и теперь вы ближе к направлению плана 2. Теперь, если прокол стал застраховать, это часто было? И теперь вы защищены? Okay, so I'm working on seismic prognosis, and TMCC is close by. Ну смотри, вот балка переходная, которая у нас стоит на F-образных поручнях. Okay, the beam is on this kind of block, and there is TMTC here and SVP. So if you found TMTC, then the second block is SVP. Okay, now I understand. It's just slightly larger. Understood. Но с подвязкой кабеля повремени, там еще от У нас ставится моноблок ВПИ, чтобы не заградить ему. I understand what you're saying. So SVP is uh, so there are two low frequency connectors and one high frequency connector. That is correct. Altogether three connectors. Alum sorg devit U K один connector. Он нам не потребуется. Yes, it's demanded. Остальные потребуются. We will not need it later, but the rest we will need. Understood. Так, но вот это значит не нужно. So this one I will not need. Okay. Эти два очень нужны. So you will need XW3 for sure. Yes, XW3. It's uh, here. I have it. And I secured these cables. I will secure them better later. Okay, and uh, you may proceed uh, to working on the locks. I copy.
Can I look up there? What is that? PET is now two hours copy. The cables are free now. Им, ну тогда тебе тоже можно, в принципе, застраховать adjustable MSLPE. Дима, you may put the SLPE on adjustable to secure it. Two hours into uh, today's spacewalk by Sergei Prokopiev, the Expedition 69 commander, and Dmitry Patelin. The uh, two cosmonauts are in the process of completing the disconnection of the seismoprognos experiment, a seismic detection experiment, and its uh, stanchion that they'll be removing uh, momentarily from the Zvezda service module to be jettisoned. Okay, and I secured the monoblock with my adjustable tether, starting on the locks. This experiment uh, was installed all the way back uh, during Expedition 38 on December 27, 2013, by uh, cosmonauts Ale Kotov and Sergei Rozansky. So after a run of almost uh, 10 years, uh, the uh, seismic detection experiment uh, has uh, completed its work and uh, will soon be removed and jettisoned. And the uh, same situation here with the adjustable tether coffee. And now the locks. Lock one is now released. Copy. Сейчас пока остается, после того, как мы освободим ее от TMTC и SOPI, перенесем ближе к ПХО на их обратно. Working about midway down uh, the length of the Zvezda service module, Prokopiev and Patelin are uh, completing uh, work to remove the seismo uh, prognosis experiment, the seismic detection experiment, and its monoblock or stanchion uh, upon which it was mounted during a spacewalk uh, by Ali Kotov and Sergei Rozansky back on December 27th, 2013. One lock is released. 
from SVP, SVP copy. And a view uh, of the uh, cosmonauts working to remove the uh, seismoprognos experiment from uh, just behind uh, the solar array, or one of the solar arrays on the Zvezda service module. Again, uh, once detached, uh, this uh, experiment no longer uh, providing data after almost 10 years of uh, scientific investigations of seismic activity back on Earth, it will be jettisoned uh, retrograde from the space station toward the aft end of the uh, Zvezda service module on a trajectory that will ensure no potential for recontact with the orbital outpost. So, for the jettisoning... Sergey. All right, you position yourself against the velocity vector, and so you should be aiming 45 degrees away from SM module. All right, hold on, let me secure myself here first. As uh, the two cosmonauts position themselves uh, in the right uh, orientation for the jettisoning of the seismoprognos experiment, uh, this is the view from Dmitry Patelin's helmet camera. Dima can actually hold on to your back to make sure you're secure, just uh, in case this is necessary. All right, I found um, a place to secure myself to and brace against. Okay, and I'm removing it, and I'm removing mine as well. Bring it up. Copy. All right, it's free. Copy. And jettisoning. And there it goes. It was a good, trusty... Our uh, ballistics officer here in Mission Control reports uh, it was jettisoned in a good trajectory well away from the station. No chance for recontact with the complex. So the seismic experiment that has spent almost a decade on the International Space Station is now on its own to burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. Wave goodbye to it. Rest in peace. And we can, Sergei, you can wrap up um, photography, uh, but um, uh, please uh, help as well with SVPI monoblock as well. Will do. That uh, jettison occurred at about the two hour, nine minute mark into uh, the spacewalk. The two cosmonauts running about an hour and 20 minutes ahead of the timeline. Expanded. All right, so when we are done with the scheduled imagery, we would not need to conserve the battery charge at all, and you will have a go to do to keep the cameras rolling as long as you need to or want to. 
Okay, and now we have a SVPU with the cables, everything secured. The second latch is left. Next up uh, for the cosmonauts uh, will be uh, the uh, disconnecting of a number of connectors and the removal of a telemetry system monoblock uh, that uh, older telemetry equipment uh, has been mounted on. That will be the second in the series of jettisons uh, that is expected to occur sometime within the next uh, 30 minutes or so. So, for the window, you need to stick to the handrail that uh, we recommend. Okay, definitely. All right, SVPE is secured to me. Okay, position yourself then. Get ready. And the jettisoning vector is going to be the same in the direction of the Earth's horizon. The uh, jettisoned item uh, or items uh, that just uh, took place right. about two and a half minutes ago uh, were both the seismic uh, detection experiment and uh, a monoblock or stanchion upon which uh, older data transmission system equipment uh, was mounted on. feel the inertia over right there right is that looking good yeah well check it should be 45 degrees okay so I removed the safety tether okay Sergey are you uh, recording the video I am and jettisoning. Following the uh, jettisoning of the seismic experiment, uh, Prokopiev now has jettisoned uh, the monoblock or stanchion upon which uh, it and telemetry equipment were mounted on. Oh, it's kind of slower than the one before. So this is the second of three planned jettisons. It's like feeling the importance of its um, tasks and goals. Dignified. Guys, when you are ready, you can start working with TMTC monoblock. You can disconnect the connectors, secure them to the handrails, and when you are ready, remove two locks. Okay.
All right, TMTC. It's kind of tied in a knot. Somebody really put their heart and into all that. So to recap here at the two-hour, 15-minute mark in uh, the spacewalk, Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin uh, have uh, first connector should be ha completed uh, the uh, acquisition of a number of photos of uh, the exterior of the uh, Zvezda service module and a uh, gamma ray particle detection experiment. They uh, removed and jettisoned uh, the seismoprognos seismic detection science experiment that had been on the International Space Station's Russian segment for almost 10 years, and uh, then uh, jettisoned the uh, high-speed uh, data transmission system stanchion upon which uh, that hardware had been mounted. Two jettisons complete, one to go. That will be uh, the stanchion upon which other telemetry equipment is installed as uh, the two cosmonauts continue to work well ahead of their timeline. Securing it? Or do you want to do that? Well, I can do that. It's a little bit closer. And it is secured to the tether. To the tether? Uh, with the tether? Well, then you should take that tether with you. Oh, no, no. No. We are leaving it there. Okay. Have you, uh, have you removed the safety there? It is secured. Okay. Opening up the locks. What's up? Yeah. yeah. Check the lock. Yeah, these are a little bit easier, um, easier to work with wing nuts. All right, you got it? Yes. And you re removed it, right? Yes, I have. Unintelligible.
Доктор, можешь поправить, пожалуйста, свою нашлемную камеру? Uh, please, uh, camera camera so Кого? Кому? Who, who are you talking to? Дим, тебе. Дмитрий, это для тебя. Окей, okay, me. Okay. Нашлемная камера. Right, my helmet camera. A little bit to the left, right? Closer to towards me, right? Yes. Well, how about now? That's good, thank you. This is Mission Control Houston, two hours, 21 minutes into uh, the spacewalk, a good view of Sergei Prokopiev, the Expedition 69 commander, from the uh, helmet camera of his uh, spacewalking partner, Dmitry Patelin. He uh, has removed uh, the monoblock or stanchion holding telemetry equipment and uh, is preparing to move into a position for the third and final uh, jettisoning of items uh, no longer needed on the station. The first item was a seismic detection experiment. The uh, second of the jettisons involved a high-speed telemetry monoblock or stanchion. The uh, crew will be installing a brand new high-speed telemetry system a short time from now. The uh, seismic experiment uh, that was uh, sent overboard uh, by uh, Prokopiev a short time ago, about uh, 13 minutes ago, had uh, initially been, ins been installed on the station in December of 2013 during a spacewalk uh, on the Expedition 38 increment by Ali Kotov and Sergei Rozansky. Okay. I am freeing it up. Okay. And there is the third of the three jettisons planned during the spacewalk. The uh, telemetry monoblock on its way. That concludes uh, the jettison uh, portion of uh, today's spacewalk by Prokopiev and Patelin. He's waving a goodbye to that item. As it uh, fades from view, it will burn up in the Earth's atmosphere, posing no chance for recontact to the International Space Station. Running well ahead of the timeline, uh, the two cosmonauts that you uh, see here in the field of view uh, will be moving to another area on uh, the main hull of the uh, Zvezda service module to uh, remove another experiment called the impact experiment uh, that has uh, been involved uh, in the collection of data on the impact of micrometeoroid uh, debris hits on uh, the Russian segment of the station over the course of a number of years, and they'll be taking photos of uh, the plume deflectors on the thrusters of the Zvezda service module. Dima, from your angle, could you please take pictures of the handrails of the SM? Okay. This view of uh, Dmitry Patelin in the fifth spacewalk of his career, Sergei Prokopia well into the seventh spacewalk in his career. Will do.
вашей готовности right, приступить к переносу балки переходной. То есть сейчас где мы подъем делаем. With the relocation of the adapter beam. Хорошо. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so I've got the connectors and the cable from TMTC in the cable holder. Okay, well, they are right in the uh, mono uh, VP monoblock area. So, so I think we're going to finally secure them later. Okay, we now need to move the two. Well, first of all, you have to secure the um, adapter beam and then move over uh, the bracket and then install to the handrails as close as you can to PHO. All right, I am secured to the ring. Copy. So we need to remove it completely. Okay. You just need to remove it so you can throw it over the um, bracket, or just like throw it over the bracket. Okay, well, I have removed, uh, I have freed it up on my end. Copy. Uh, there should be a ring, right? Yes, on, on that side. Cables, let me gather them up. All right. And the second one, does it get through there? If you want, you can hold down the cable. Maybe you should go from above. Uh, not to crowd the rails, the handrails. So that, like, make sure that the cable is not too close. Artyom. I think it's pretty good, just like that. I think it's pretty. It's looking pretty good. And the uh, distance here, or the gap here, is more than um, three, five centimeters, so it's just fine. And there are plenty of handrails here, and there shouldn't be any issues with, with them. Okay. 
Yes, I do. I'm crucial on that. And you want us to use the uh, range yeah, to tighten it, right? Yes, please. Oh, but I think Half a turn. Yes. Okay. Let me tighten it on my side. Half a turn, done. Removing the, I am removing the safety tether. Well, that's a much cleaner now. What did you say? Looks really nice here. Nothing, uh, no clutter or anything. Pretty empty handrails. Okay, well, we let, wanted to let you know that we're going to go with LOS for about 10, 12 minutes. So please uh, report what you do, provide a running commentary, and start getting ready for the installation of uh, the VPI monoblock. Okay, sounds good. Do you have any... Um, Recommendations, 25, 24, 20, is that 25, 24, and 25, 17. Okay, we see that. So you can read what's, uh, what it says, correct? Yes. Uh, the markings are identifiable. Well, we can even see half of the USOS. Pretty visible and visit pretty clearly. Well, it is sunset for us. Copy. You're going to go into orbital night in 20 seconds. Okay. We'll probably need to turn on our um, headlights. Correction, helmet lights. Got it?
I think it is working. So we need to position it. So one walk here, then we can move it this way. This is Mission Control Houston, two hours, 37 minutes into today's spacewalk. Prokopiev and Patelin are installing a uh, monoblock for high-speed telemetry equipment uh, on the uh, Zvezda service module. This coming after uh, the removal and jettisoning of other stanchion equipment and a seismic detection experiment that occurred about uh, 35 minutes or so ago. That all went uh, fine, and our ballistics uh, officers here in Mission Control report that uh, those objects that were jettisoned uh, were done so in the right trajectory and uh, will not pose any uh, recontact problem for the International Space Station as had been planned. Simultaneously. And by one. Uh, what about the other side? Yes, that is that age. Okay. Opti, then you can do uh, first secure it manually. Okay, I, I was able to uh, just hand tighten. No, I didn't do it on this side.
через минуту, возможно, будет прерывание связи на минуту. Two hours, 42 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk, Prokopiev and Patelin continue to work to remove a, a stanchion and to reinstall that stanchion on another area of the uh, Zvezda service module upon which high-speed uh, data telemetry equipment will be installed. Everything uh, continuing to go well and well ahead of the timeline for today's spacewalk uh, that uh, is designed to remove old investigative experiment equipment uh, from the hull of the Zvezda service module and to uh, take uh, a number of engineering photos of uh, thruster areas and uh, antenna areas of the Zvezda service module, which is approaching the 23rd anniversary of its existence on board the International Space Station, having launched uh, in July of 2000. We'll be reacquiring communications with the International Space Station uh, in just a few moments, passing in between satellites on our tracking and data relay satellite system. So we now have COM. Yes. Um, we have COM. So two walks out of three are installed. So you, you got the third one. Yes, it's all done. So the um, locks are secured and tightened with a wrench. Yes, tightened with a wrench. Okay. Well, let's um, you guys go to KPP and finalize the activity with the cable. Okay, copy. security crew bag. Oh, or can we do it later? Um, let's do it later. Be careful uh, with the cover. Speaking simultaneously. Так, 
кабель извлечен из КП. So we can probably use wire ties here. Yes, we can. Is it long enough? Do you see the connector? Yes, I, I think everything is fine. to make the cables. Copy. Stand by, uh, stand by one now. Добро. Сергей, приступай к стыковке кабелей. Чувствуй, какой разъем. Uh, connect uh, inaudible. Made the connector RPPR1. I have it in my hands. Uh, to R1. There are two connectors here. I have PPR1 connector in my hands. Copy. I have PPR1 in my hands. I remove the caps. I uh, confirm it has been attached. Copy. Should I take a uh, photograph first? First, made all the connectors, all four connectors should be made at first. Then you can take a photograph, and then you can close them. And labeling. Two connectors, inaudible loud echo. Copy. KPR 2. Okay, copy KPR 2. Принято. Copy. KPR 2. And to KPR 2. So I rotated that and closed it. Prepared, uh, two connector is made it. Control. 
Плоский подтвержден на обоих разъемах. Монитор, что оба коннектора полностью сделаны. Так, вы получаете сигнал на земле? at the labeling forty nine X two forty nine fifty two something that's labeled similarly so we can turn it. What do you copy? Okay, it's demated. Okay, we have uh, confirmed the um, process. From the antenna side. U uh, equal um, a two dash was a calm dropout X W three X W three from the antenna side. Well, here labeling is not very visible. Look at the old labeling. What about the metal housing itself? There's 90, 90 the end. 549A and Dash 19. At the, the very begin, the very end of the label does is legible. At the very beginning, is not. I am performing mating. XW3 is mated. Okay, copy, then uh, secure it in the uh, Lirka clip and move on to the next connector. Copy.
Connector is secured in the Lyrica clip. Copy. I have a question about protective housing. What about your opinion? If we remove them now, will it be safe to translate past it? We're not going to snag onto anything or kick anything by accident? We shouldn't be really catching on anything here. It's not very convenient translating along that side anyway. Then we're not going to leave housing for uh, a later time, and we can remove them now. I'm going to close MLI. So you're closing MLI flaps. Yes, closing the flaps. Glacier is currently off. Copy. Copy. My uh, recommendation about subsequent steps is as follows. Uh, you have uh, been on EVA for three hours exactly. You can take a break right now. When you're ready, you can remove crew look back and translate and move it in the direction of Pechao, where VKP is located, then you're going to take uh, the container and protective uh, lid uh, from the crew bag, and then you're going to remove the protective housing and secure it in the area of UKP. Copy. Sounds good. And until the eclipse, we have nine minutes. So you have a five-minute break now. Copy. Right this now. is Mission Control Houston, three hours, one minute into today's spacewalk by uh, Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin, the 266th spacewalk in support of space station assembly maintenance and upgrades. The uh, two cosmonauts working very efficiently outside in the area of the Zvezda service module are wrapping up work uh, with the installation of a uh, stanchion or a monoblock as it is called upon which uh, high-speed telemetry equipment will be installed. They have completed uh, all three planned jettisons during the spacewalk. 
of a seismic detection experiment and uh, two other stanchions upon which other equipment had been mounted. The uh, two cosmonauts uh, running about an hour ahead on their timeline uh, will take uh, a brief uh, pause to uh, catch their breath before uh, moving to a series of thrusters at the aft end of the service module uh, for uh, a bit of photography of what are called plume deflectors on those thrusters to see uh, how they have fared over the course of time. The Zvezda service module approaching the 23rd anniversary of its time on orbit following its launch on a proton rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan in July of 2000. Five minutes have elapsed. How are you doing? We're feeling great. We're ready to work. No, can't be better. Copy. We have less than five minutes until the end of eclipse, and uh, let's proceed for the plan. Artem, I, um, we have some unsecured cables. We need to attach them. Okay, go ahead and secure them. So we're going to take this log with us, correct? Yes, you are and the cutter. And maybe we can put it a little bit. It's not too long. It's very long. Cable, you cannot take it inside the station. It stays too long outside the station. Probably too contaminated. Understood. Так, крыло, 
застрахован. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, to recap, uh, activities so far associated with uh, this Russian spacewalk by Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin. The two cosmonauts opened the hatch to the Poisk module at 9.24 a.m. Central Time uh, to begin the uh, ninth spacewalk out of the International Space Station this year. This is the seventh spacewalk for Prokopiev in his career, the fifth for Patelin. The uh, two cosmonauts working with great efficiency were able to remove uh, several different experiment packages, including a seismic experiment that had been installed on the station almost 10 years ago by Oleg Kotov and Sergei Rozansky during Expedition 38. They uh, proceeded uh, to jettison that seismic experiment and two of the uh, stanchions upon which other equipment had been mounted, a total of three jettisons in all. That all went uh, by the book, and uh, the ballistics officer in mission control reported good trajectory on all three jettisons with no chance that any of those items would recontact the International Space Station. The uh, two cosmonauts have just concluded the installation of another stanchion on uh, handrails on the uh, Zvezda service module, upon which other telemetry equipment will be uh, installed a bit later in today's spacewalk. They are going to be uh, pressing ahead uh, to uh, begin uh, photo documentation of plume deflectors at the aft end of the service module, upon which the service module thrusters are located uh, for engineering analysis on the ground, and uh, the removal of uh, other experiment containers uh, that have been uh, housed over the course of uh, a number of years to uh, measure uh, gamma ray uh, detection uh, activities, biological samples, and material science experiments, uh, all of which have been mounted on the outside of the Zvezda service module. They also plan uh, to take photos of the Lyra high data rate antenna at the aft end of the service module and other areas right around the docking port at the aft end of the uh, Zvezda service module, which currently is housing uh, the ISS Progress 83 cargo ship. One and two and two. To back. Okay, you can release it from the inside.
Your hand in middle cover. Yes. Наши укладочки прям движимые. Одна прям яркая, яркая. Она закатала солнце, как будто... Много иллюминации. Очень яркая. Да, да, да. Вы имеете в виду антенны? Да, очень яркая. We leave for log back. Okay, I'm taking it. Yes, leave the crew log bag. Copy. Copy. 
Дыхатель лежал там по нему можно. And just uh, take care of this cable. Do I need to turn on oh, inaudible? good view of Dmitry Patelin working uh, near the uh, aft end of the Zvezda service module, three hours, 18 minutes into today's spacewalk. The uh, two cosmonauts are uh, securing uh, some of the shrouds uh, for the stanchion upon which uh, the newly installed uh, stanchion or monoblock for telemetry equipment uh, was just completed. The uh, two cosmonauts uh, will be moving uh, to begin uh, the removal of a tray of experiments uh, for uh, what is known as the impact experiment that measures uh, micrometeoroid debris hits on uh, the Russian segment of the station, as well as uh, photography that they will conduct of the plume deflectors at the very back of the service module uh, that house uh, the thrusters for the uh, Russian segment of the International Space Station. Okay, you can attach. Camera включена во время снятия кошеков. I will turn on the camera as uh, I am removing the shroud. Yes. You are proceeding and uh, going towards Ukape. Dima, I wanted to ask you to take a detailed video, if possible. Artem, repeat, please. You remove the shroud, and then please uh, take a video of everything around the F-shaped handrail. And Dima, you'll be working on UKP at that time. Understood. Will do. Now working on the wire ties. The two cosmonauts checking out the uh, protective shrouds uh, around the uh, newly installed stanchion for telemetry equipment on uh, the Zvezda service module. Removing the shroud now on my side. I got it. Removing shroud number two. Yes, I can see. Do not move it too far away. Maybe we can just uh, tie them together. Put in the
можешь, пожалуйста, с разных ракурсов немножко снять вот эти фабразные поручни? И можно I got it. Will you take the second one? Yes. Okay, this is released. Андрей may be looking at us right now. We are by the window. Both routes are on UKP. Can you please check your archive? Dim, Dim, Tibi. Dim, that's for you. Can you please check your archive? Archive or Haka? Archive. Okay, check in my archive. The LED is not illuminated. Would you like for me to turn it on? Yes, please. It doesn't seem to be turning on. Ну, по вашей готовности, 
Мы можем приступать к переходу к ГЗУ по первой плоскости. Так что можно приступать к переходу. I think this is the logical way for you to proceed now with the uh, translation to impact and plume deflector. And Sergey, we can see the airtight container, but where is the cover? The cover is inside the airtight container still because it was supposed to be separate? Copy. Approaching the uh, three and a half hour mark in uh, today's spacewalk, the International Space Station flying over Vancouver, British Columbia, moving from northwest to southeast on a pass that will take uh, the complex and the Expedition 69 crew across the heartland of America. The two cosmonauts have uh, completed uh, the installation of protective shrouds. Uh, along a uh, stanchion that uh, telemetry equipment uh, will be installed on. And now we'll make their way back uh, to the aft end of the service module to uh, take uh, pictures of plume deflectors on the uh, thrusters of the Zvezda service module, as well as uh, to remove a tray of experiments from uh, what is called the impact experiment that has measured over the number, over a number of years, uh, the number of uh, impacts from micrometeoroid debris particles, and what effect, uh, engineering-wise, they may have had on uh, the structure of the International Space Station. There was a short LOS. No, I was saying. When we secure the impact to the edge of the SMF, the head was closer to the plume deflector, GZU. I think this is how I will do it also. Copy. My feet are on the side of the vehicle. And there are no handrails on the edge, correct? Oh, I can see handrail 2713. Copy. Okay, I will start working on the impact hardware. Fatima, and you can take a video around the plume deflectors. And uh, around SM after. So you may start on that. Copy. Will do. It looks like a dirty frying pan. <laughs> well, it hasn't been washed for quite some time. Somebody made some good fries in it. 
Well, I retrieved uh, the projective cover that belongs to the impact hardware. Yes, so we copy. Okay, you can attach the hook to the tray. And by. We need the plug deflector, both of them, following the roll direction, and on the lower part of plume deflectors first. We had a short break in com. Yes, indeed. We understand. So the plume deflectors, please uh, try to take video from both sides. Three hours, 34 minutes into today's spacewalk, uh, Prokopiev and Patelin have made their way to the aft end of the Zvezda service module, where they will uh, conduct uh, photographic documentation of these plume deflectors for the thrusters on Zvezda that uh, have been operating now for more than two decades as uh, the uh, centerpiece for the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Notable numbers for SM after video script directions. Sergey, and now, before you're going to be uh, removing uh, the uh, container, could you please uh, secure it with the adjustable and leave uh, the uh, red on the cover? Okay, sounds good. After uh, conducting uh, their photographic uh, documentation of these plume deflectors on the thrusters of the Zvezda service module, the two cosmonauts will be removing one tray of experiments from what is called the impact space experiment that has measured uh, micrometeoroid debris hits on the Russian segment of the station for a number of years. They will also be uh, removing uh, one of the containers from uh, what is known as the SKK or cassette container uh, from uh, the service module and that uh, has contained uh, material science samples uh, collecting data over a number of years. They will also be taking photos of the uh, antenna boom upon which the Lyra high data rate uh, antenna is attached at the very aft of the service module near the docking port to which the ISS Progress 83 cargo ship is attached. Right. You follow these circular handrails. And when you are there, that's when you can look at the SMF. Well, I tried, but not with much success. And you can, uh, unintelligible, secure it there. Artyom, it is secured. Okay.
Okay, got it. Removed it. I removed the impact. Payload. Okay, now you can start translating to SKK. Okay? Running about an hour ahead of the timeline, uh, the cosmonauts have removed one of the uh, sample trays from the impact space experiment. Now we'll uh, move along uh, to do the same for a cassette container from a material science experiment that is located nearby. Maybe I should take a few images here in this location. Yes, Sergey, if you can, from this direction, just uh, be a little bit more uh, attentive to the plume deflectors. I am... I understand. Yes, I, I, we, we get it. It's not a very easy area to work. So, you are somewhere around uh, SKK cassette container, right? Yes. Okay, now we see the target, and right after the target, that's where you want to be. Please don't touch the target, though, just like at all. Do not touch it. Well, I'm looking for the best path here. Well, no rush here. We know it's a complex and challenging area to work in.
All right, I am behind the antenna. Copy. Okay, it's uh, behind the target. And I see impact um, experiment. And SKK container. I got caught a little bit here. We see SKK cassettes. So be very careful. Do not uh, try not to touch the uh, progress vehicle. Copy. The two cosmonauts are carefully making their way uh, at the aft end of the uh, Zvezda service module to which the ISS Progress 83 cargo ship is docked as they uh, traverse toward uh, a package of experiments, of material science experiments that have been exposed uh, to the elements of low Earth orbit for a number of years. There is a good view of that Progress uh, cargo vehicle That particular progress is scheduled uh, to depart the International Space Station in about two months, having completed its uh, supply mission to the complex. Dmitry, how do you copy? We here. Copy. So for SKK, Sergey. Will you be able to work there? I haven't gotten that far yet. Copy. So, I have a suggestion. It's not so, you have 19 minutes. Till orbital night. So, and one of your translation paths is not going to leave you much time. So, Icon will be first. And maybe you can um, translate a little bit further. And then you will be able to start the imagery and the rotation. And if possible, please do not touch neither the uh, target nor the antenna with your hands. Okay. And Sergey about SKK. What do you think? Will you be able to work with the cassette? holder without touching uh, the progress? Well, I'm pretty much in front of it, and I'm not touching anything. So then that's good news. Let's work with it. And do you want us to work with uh, Econ? No, no, uh, with... Correction. Do you want us to work with unintelligible? No, you will continue working with the SKK cassette container. And that reference to the SKK experiment container is to the material science experiment that is housed on the uh, exterior of the Zvezda service module that will be removed 
with its investigations having been completed. Sergey, you can start your uh, operations with SKK. And you, uh, we see that you are securing it already. And my red goes to SKK. And the part that stays All right, I am I freed up and I am opening the clip and now I'm taking the um, tablet platform. Cosmonauts are now in the process of removing uh, the sample tray from the SKK experiment, uh, this cassette container of material science investigations. Position. And uh, for the pressurized container, you need to make sure that um, the wire tie uh, frame is in correct position, and then you will have to take out the internal part and then remove the safety copy. All right, uh, the um, top part is free. Right, there is no handrail to follow easily there. And Dima, what's the distance? I see it. I either have to hop over Sergey. Is he secured? I'm, I am secured. I can, let me just like move a little bit back and forth and I can get over you. All right, the opening is closed. Так, 
закончил. I am done. Внутреннюю горловину закручивать. So, Артем, do you want me to secure? Повтори, пожалуйста, Сергей. Закончился внутренней горловиной. To secure the internal and close out the internal circumference. И по поршням, вот по своей yes. поршням на торце, and then и в сторону штанги фона. Following the um, handrails and move towards the boom. Расположился в районе ОНа. Well, I... Какое у вас расстояние примерно до ОНы? Вы ее наблюдаете? Positioned myself around ОНа, антенна, бум. Well, what's the distance to it? Unintelligible. Deform visual inspection. Um, if there are any uh, FOD items, any loose um, wire ties or um, anything. Well, it's really hard to tell right now. We we need to stand by till we uh, get out, like because right now I have the sun hitting me straight in the face. Ну, тогда включайте глиссеры. All right, then turn on your glisser cameras once you're ready. Начинаем видеосъемку. And start video recording. And once you do that, we will start the rotation. I'm not ready yet. The uh, two cosmonauts... Uh are in the process of wrapping up uh, the removal of a, a tray of experiments from the impact and uh, material science experiment containers. That's all complete. They're uh, in the process of continuing to take photos of the aft end of the uh, Zvezda service module and are about to take photos of the uh, interface of a boom that holds the Lyra antenna, the high data rate and uh, high uh, telemetry television antenna at the aft end of the Zvezda service module. As we approach the four-hour mark in the uh, spacewalk, the crew continuing to run about an hour ahead of the timeline. And uh, please um, take pictures and video on um, as many si from m as many angles as possible. And then you start the rotation and record how the rotation is happening. Okay, are you ready? I am. Me too. And when the rotation starts, make sure you are holding as tight and without any extra movement as possible. Rotation is about to start. We are ready. Sergei, what about FOD items or any loose items? Have you inspected it as well? I, we have, and um, we confirm that rotation has started. We're asking because, uh, and we're asking about FOD or any loose items, uh, anything strange there, because Dima said that um, he could not see it clearly because of the sun. Well, are you seeing anything strange? No, not as of right now, and the rotation is very smooth. Copy. All right, PT is four hours exact sharp, okay? Okay. 
Well, if we spend uh, another three hours just cleaning the windows, that's going to be just fine. All right, the rotation continues. Copy. So six minutes till uh, orbital night. Copy. And I see that the shadow of the progress vehicle is increasing. So we are ready. All right, the rotation in the other direction is about to start. Oh, we see that. Принято. Copy. Пойдет в обратную, да. And it's about to start moving. Есть 
We confirm rotation. Copy. Just over four hours into uh, the spacewalk by Prokopiev and Patelin, the uh, cosmonauts uh, taking high-resolution imagery of the uh, boom upon which the Lyra high data rate antenna at the aft end of the Zvezda service module resides. On your left hand, there is some sort of a ribbon. Yes. There is a ribbon that is uh, holding the MLI together. Well, and it's uh, torn, I think. Well, one side is, one end is longer than the other. Uh, we can only see it under the uh, uh, light, when we shine the light on it. Uh, can you uh, take a detailed uh, image of this uh, ribbon, please? Guys, in about two and a half or three minutes, there's going to be an LOS for about ten minutes. Uh, there will be a uh, ready com only, and we're not going to have CSS coverage during that time frame, so there will be an, an independent time frame, so to speak. And so right now you're going to complete your video recording and start translating back along the handrails. Try to follow the same path, translation path that you uh, used to write here. I think when you get to the last handrail, the uh, comb will be available. But when you get to the last handrail, please stand by and wait for my go. OK, copy all. OK, we're going to wrap up our video recording. Uh, wrap up the uh, recording using Glisser. 
Oh, uh, that will. Well, we're not going to. Uh, we're not going to take uh, the video of the rest of the parts of the edge. Uh, what you have not taken a video of. So a long plane four until number one, until plane one. I finish up with the video recording. Also added to the recording. Um, yeah, no, objects. Okay, but we'll try speaking simultaneously. So we're going. Um, uh, we have. We're ahead of the timeline. So we're going to. Uh, if we don't spend too much time on that end, uh, then we should be fine. Okay. Sounds good. Should we wait for the insulated part of the orbit to take a video? Well, we're not going to be able to clean the, uh, the window if you wait for the insulated uh, uh, part of the orbit. And we're actually, every, any second now, we're going to end up without any calm. Okay, I understand. Okay, we're going to take a video as we go. As you're translating along the path, walking by, uh, do additional uh, video recording. Don't spend too much time on it. Use GoPro. Uh, it should be a sufficient. Uh, the video isn't too bad, so that should be there should be enough lighting for that. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so start translating. Okay, copy. I'm also going to take another video on top of the um, high gain antenna, Ona. And then you go ahead and start translating, and I will follow. Okay, sounds good. The uh, instructions from Russian flight controllers to Prokopiev and Patelin as they uh, wrap up the uh, documentation of the antenna boom upon which the Lyra high gain transmission and telemetry antenna resides at the aft end of the Zvezda service module. That uh, documentation has now been completed and the uh, two cosmonauts will start to make their way back from the aft end of the service module toward the forward end of the service module in the Russian segment of the space station carrying uh, the materials uh, science cassette container and the impact experiment uh, sample container back uh, to the Poisk airlock with them. We're four hours, 13 minutes into today's spacewalk. Everything has gone ahead of the, the timeline with all of the objectives so far having been accomplished. ribbon is broken. It used to cinch up the MLI. So right now we stopped the high gain antenna rotation. So you need to go and start translating away from that location. Okay, a copy and we're going to take video as we go along the translation path. Thank you. Copy. Dmitry, are you going to start translating above, or are, or are you going to be translating along my handrails? Yes, I'm going to translate over here on top.
During the uh, course of uh, today's spacewalk, the two cosmonauts uh, jettisoned an, uh, a decade-old uh, seismic detection experiment called Seismoprognos, as well as two stanchions that held uh, telemetry equipment. One more jettison is planned, uh, that uh, of several towels that uh, could occur within the next few minutes that will wrap up all of the jettison work uh, during the course of this spacewalk. The 266th in support of Space Station Assembly Maintenance and Upgrades and the 9th spacewalk conducted out of the International Space Station this year. And we've uh, gone into a handover between satellites on our tracking and data relay satellite system for about uh, eight to nine minutes or so. Just to recap, uh, four hours, 18 minutes into uh, the spacewalk, Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin have uh, been able to remove a number of uh, scientific investigations uh, bolted uh, to the hull and handrails of the Zvezda service module as well as the installation of high data rate transmission hardware for future use. With uh, all of the activities associated with uh, this spacewalk having gone well so far, the two cosmonauts are making their way back from the aft end of the service module where they took engineering photography and uh, high digital imagery of uh, the boom upon which the Lyra high data rate antenna is mounted at the very aft end of the service module, as well as photography of plume detectors for the thrusters on the aft end of the service module that provide propulsive capability for the International Space Station. Again, we're in a period of loss of communications from the International Space Station. We'll reacquire communications and a downlink TV capability just a few minutes from now. As uh, today's spacewalk continues, Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin making their way back uh, from the aft end of the Zvezda service module to the forward end of the service module to take up the, the remaining activities for today's excursion, which will be uh, the stowage of experiments in uh, containers that will be uh, brought back inside the International Space Station and uh, 
one final task, the removal of a, uh, bio, a biological sample container for an experiment called BioRisk that is located near the hatch to the Poisk module airlock. And as we approach the uh, four and a half hour mark in uh, today's spacewalk, uh, we're standing by for uh, the reacquisition of signal on our tracking and data relay satellite system, continuing uh, our coverage of Russian spacewalk 59, the 266th spacewalk in support of space station assembly maintenance and upgrades.
Дмитрий, как меня слышно? Все, первый связи закончился. We are on different handrails. I think we are on the circular handrails. I am near UKP, crew of back. Copy. Well, we're a little bit ahead of the timeline. Okay, let's start cleaning the window. So accordingly, what you need to do, uh, you need to, and you need to secure small small edge and take it all on your uh, waist editor, and then you need to hold on with one hand on ORMD, ORMD handrail and then reach out, and the same way as we discussed it, one of you is going to hold on to ORMD, uh, clean the window with the other hand, and the second EV crew member is going to hold on to the first crew member's back. back. So who has longer arms? What do you think? Because then person, one of you who has longer arms uh, should be the one uh, cleaning the window. Well, who has longer arms? I wanted to ask something. Uh, is it it's kind of dark? Is, we're not going to have an insulated part of the orbit for 14 minutes. By the time you arrive there, it should be light. You need to position yourself, take photographs of the window uh, before and after. Okay. Understand. Uh, we also have the video. Okay, sounds good. I need to secure myself. Inaudible. Four and a half hours into uh, the spacewalk, Prokopiev and Patelin now are uh, working on uh, what amounts to a get-ahead task, the cleaning of uh, the external surface of one of these Zvezda service module windows. So should we put it 
Okay. the crew back. Let's not put it in the crew back. So leave it on UKP. Okay, everything. Leave everything on UKP. I have uh, released um, for the cleaning. Copy. Once uh, the cleaning of the external surface of this uh, service module window is complete, the uh, two cosmonauts uh, will perform a visual inspection of their respective spacesuits and they'll wipe their gloves and uh, other equipment that they've been working with, with towels. They plan to jettison those towels at some point here in the next uh, few minutes. And that uh, will put them in the home stretch of uh, today's activities with one more task to be completed, that uh, the removal of a biological sample experiment package near the hatch to the Poi Poisk module airlock. We're going to translate their together. I removed the um, item into the UKP. Be careful. 
Go to the edge uh, so you don't snag onto your cars. Make sure you fit through. All right, so I'm trying to get through, right? All right. This is how we got here. All right, so move further, right? I think we'll fit. <laughs> but the backpack is too fat. Let me try. Maybe, maybe we'll get through. For now, you are fitting through. Mm -hmm. right, let's, let's try. So, could you please secure yourself to different handrails? Of course. Circular handrail. Unintelligible. Not a very well designed structure. They didn't think about the cosmonauts. Is Andre there anywhere? Andre, do you hear us? Hold on, let us get Andre over. Yeah, because we we are pretty close to our target. Uh, get to the left window. Oh, less than three minutes to the installation. Copy. The reference to the three minutes until insulation uh, refers to orbital sunrise for the International Space Station and the Expedition 69 crew as the work continues outside by Prokopiev and Patelin. At this point, uh, the uh, cosmonauts removed a seismic detection experiment uh, from the Zvezda service module that had operated for almost a decade outside. They jettisoned uh, that equipment along with a stanchion. Also uh, removed uh, two other stanchions that uh, telemetry equipment were mounted on and installed a high data 
transmission radio hardware package uh, to improve uh, the rate of uh, transmission of uh, telemetry and uh, other data associated with experiments on the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to do anything. Dima, could you help Sergei grab his tether? Hold on. Take that and lower it. Are you lowering it? The two cosmonauts also removed uh, experiment trays from a micrometeoroid debris impact experiment and a uh, material science sample experiment package and uh, took detailed photography at the aft end of the Zvezda service module of a number of components, including plume uh, deflectors for the thrusters at the aft end of the service module, as well as the antenna boom on which uh, the Lyra high data rate antenna is mounted. Unintelligible. The crew in Moscow are unintelligible due to a lot of interference. Slowly. Well, first, turn on your glissers. So, video the state before and then after. Literally, no more than five or ten seconds. And then we'll see whether the status improves after you clean the windows. All right, so, a okay, you start cleaning it, moving along the perimeter in circular motions from the, starting from the sides going to the center. Because if you do that the other way, you will end up with possibly with streaks and on the windows. All right. So it's a spiral movement? Yes, spiral movement. Okay. Spiral movement. I'm not going to turn off the glisser then. Right. All right. All right. I am getting that first cleaner out. All right, secure it somewhere like like this here. Uh -huh. 
All right, I got it. All right, we have it. All right, away from the center. Сергей, press harder. You actually need to put some effort. Sergey Prokopiev uh, now cleaning one of the windows on the Zvezda service module inside fellow cosmonaut. Andrei Fedyaev recording uh, those activities from the inside out. All right. Andrei, are you with us? If you are, um, we would like him to see the process. It's working. All right, Dima, how is it? Dima, did you copy? Well, when I touch the metal parts, unintelligible, to the center, unintelligible. Uh, All right, can you go over it one more time for good measure? As Prokopiev uh, works uh, to clean uh, this window on the exterior of the uh, Zvezda service module, the International Space Station has flown into an orbital sunrise north of Japan, right. crossing uh, the northern Pacific. We're trying to work with, like, maybe to hit it with a flashlight and see and look at it from different angles to make sure that we have it clean. And a circular motion. Let me try. Andre. It's kind of... I haven't touched it yet. Clean up here. Oh, 
Uh, it will be a little bit better from here. All right. I wiped it down uh, like first uh, go, and we can change out the um, the tip and try it one more time. Sergey, should we do it one more time? I think it'll do. Moscow. All right, it's gotten better. We have a second tip that we can use. Let me try from one more time from here. Okay. Something like that. Maybe it will work. Andre, what did you say? Well, from the look of it, it's not bad. Can you try and like put a little bit more force behind it? Uh, the biggest uh, um, streaks are gone, but uh, there are still some left. All right, I have um, removed the second cleaner. Maybe we should take pictures a little bit later. Before and after. Take some more pictures there. And you should start heading towards MRM. All right. Pictures of the window. Принято. Copy. All right, guys, we are done with pictures. Head out back to MRM and the handrail. Also, Glisser, leave it on for a little bit more time so that we capture the batteries, solar rays, leave it going. Okay. As we approach the five-hour mark in the uh, spacewalk, Dmitry Patelin has wrapped up uh, the cleaning of a, the external surface of one of the windows on the Zvezda service module. 
the uh, two cosmonauts continuing uh, to make good time along uh, all of their tasks on the timeline for today's activities. The removal of a seismic uh, detection experiment, the removal of several stanchions on the exterior of the service module that held other transmission hardware. They did install a high data rate transmission radio hardware package and uh, removed experiment trays from a micrometeoroid impact hit experiment and a material science samples experiment. The two cosmonauts also took extensive uh, photographic documentation of uh, the aft end of the Zvezda service module, including uh, thruster plume def deflectors and uh, the antenna boom on which the Lyra high data rate antenna is mounted. And now having completed uh, the cleaning of uh, one of the windows on the uh, service module, they're going to head back uh, toward the Poisk airlock where they will remove a biological sample experiment package before presumably completing their spacewalk for today. There is a soft handrail, long one, orange. Okay, and I'm moving all right here. I am passing by you. You got it, got it. All right. Use the soft handrail. Okay. PET is five hours ex exactly. Copy. Grab the crew lock bag and UKP with all the tools and everything. The container, the protective covers, secure to the circular handrails, and start uh, your suit inspection. Sounds good. What do you want? The crew lock bag and UKP? Well, you can turn the crew lock bag. All right, let me grab it. Well, I'm thinking that both kits can be secured with bow with hooks to you guys. 
Okay. Standing by. Uh, and the second one. Don't go to plane two yet. We just want to be able to jettison the uh, towel. So position yourself uh, across each other and um, check out your suits, gloves, and uh, the impact. Copy. Well, we didn't do anything crazy. Well, uh, my gloves are looking good. The something greenish is on the boots, but. It was there before we went to on our oh, we went there. Well, guys, inspect it a little bit more attentively, please. Maybe OTAs, maybe it's, uh, some cloth uh, elements. Just maybe a little bit more than we had. Maybe it's a little bit dirtier than before, but nothing crazy. The backs are probably clean, but elbows. Let me check. The boots are, uh, the legs are clean. The backpack. I think it's cleanish. Not too bad. All good. All right. Well. Let us wipe down the gloves and use the towels. We'll use the towels and in the handrail of the impact needs to be also uh, wiped down. So use the gloves, uh, use the um, towels, correction. As the International Space Station approaches the west coast of uh, the United States, Dmitry Patelin and Sergei Prokopiev are uh, 
conducting what for U.S. spacewalks is called the buddy system, inspecting each other's suits, wiping down the suits to ensure that they're not going to bring any contamination back inside the space station at the completion of today's spacewalk, which is now five hours, six minutes in duration. Well, there, the handrails are, look like they have uh, smoke residue on them. Looks like a frying pan with the smoke residue. Uh, they also look oily, but I don't think it's actually oily. So should I be going there first? Okay. Now oh, should I be wiping? Uh, should I be wiping down? Yes. Go ahead. Okay, the handrail. Yes, go ahead on the handrail. I think I've done as much as I could. I'm done. I'm done. I uh, completed the handrail cleaning. Copy. And a good view of uh, the Expedition 69 commander, Sergei Prokopiev, in the home stretch of the 7th spacewalk of his career. Yes. 
Excuse me. Uh, could you use a fresh towel, please, yes, and yes, queen yes, number three? Yes, yes uh, would be great if you use a fresh towel. Okay, copy. And this one you can, and this uh, towel you can jettison right away. You can give it to me. So you need to uh, grab it with the other hand. When you uh, jettison it, you, uh, please remove the wire ties and jettison the towel without wire ties. Okay, copy. Well, there are some hooks still remaining on the towel. Copy. So if you're able to uh, bunch up those two towels into one uh, into one bundle with, with one bundle without the wire, so you can probably wrap it on top. I finished tiny. You can wrap one towel on top of the other, just so that they are going to separate from the station as one single object. Five hours, 15 minutes into the uh, spacewalk, instructions being given to the cosmonauts to bundle these two towels that they wiped uh, their gloves and uh, their suits down with into one package, basically, that they will wire tie together so that when it is jettisoned, it uh, will consist of only a single object to be tracked. The jettison, like the other items jettisoned earlier in today's spacewalk, will be done so retrograde to the station to avoid any potential for recontact with the International Space Station without a wire tie, particularly since we're wearing gloves. Well, don't, don't, uh, over, uh, don't over tire your arms. It doesn't have to be. Well, if you can compress it together like a, um, like a snowball, uh, then you can push it off.
Let's just like. I don't know. I don't even know what to do. Well, let's try it this way. We need to remove it from the wire tie. Well, if it doesn't work, if it doesn't work uh, pushing it off without a wire tie, then use one wire tie. Don't, um, don't overburden uh, your hands. Don't overtire your hands trying to compress those two towels. I just wanted to save a wire tie, but if it's not going to work, then so be it. So, yeah, if it's a matter of a wire tie. Of course, it's always about the wire. Oh, this is better. Copy. You can push it off. So you're going to push it towards me? So in the direction of the station along the hor the Earth horizon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So it's not towards me; it's in direction away from me. Well, copy. The towel is gone. And uh, the bundle of uh, two towels has been jettisoned. The fourth item to be jettisoned during today's spacewalk, a uh, seismic detection experiment, two uh, stanchions, and now this bundle of towels. This will wrap up all of the jettison activity for the spacewalk, which is approaching the five-hour, 20-minute mark. Uh, plane four, it shouldn't be difficult to translate in that direction. Okay, copy.
with the work uh, on the Zvezda service module having been completed, uh, the two cosmonauts are now making their way back to the Poisk airlock. One more task uh, at hand, the retrieval of a biological samples experiment package, the experiment called BioRisk that is mounted near the airlock hatch at Poisk. Okay, and you have the impact tray. Uh, yes, I do. And the crew of back as well? Oh, no. Okay, I got it. Copy also when you get to the EV hatch. So place the impact uh, experiment tray into the soft container. Okay, we'll do. And if possible, when you remove the wire ties in along the uh, internal circumference, you will need to wrap it as much as possible. You might need to do it together. Okay, we'll, we'll wait and see. So I see um, your view colleague has also translated from the uh, circular handrail. Yes, Then we're going to enable attitude thrusters at this time. Okay, copy. The uh, cosmonauts now back at the Poisk module. They uh, will be removing uh, the BioRisk sample tray, this biological samples experiment tray. That will be the final task of today's spacewalk, presumably. 
and uh, we'll stand by for further word from the Russian flight control team outside of Korolyov, which has supervised today's excursion by Prokopiev and Patelin. I am placing the train to the soft container. Copy. And Dmitry, you are uh, where? So yes, I'm following uh, Sergey. Okay, we're going to start rotating the solar rays in out of track mode. So we're not going to MRM. We're not going back to MRM at all. Okay, clap you all. Thank you. The uh, two cosmonauts are stowing uh, the experiment trays that were removed from the Zvezda service module into protective airtight containers uh, before they are brought back inside the Poisk airlock. I have the container. Okay, I am going to go to the kit. And uh, the two uh, spacewalkers are removing uh, one of the containers from the BioRisk experiment. These are biological samples exposed to the environment of space. Dmitry, you're going to help Sergey. You're going to hold the um, uh, container. There is the uh, tray uh, there, and then in the meantime, Sergey is going to dispose of the wire ties so they don't get in the way. Okay, sounds good. Just 
So uh, you should should I just hold it? Yes, hold it. Now, did you remove red and the adjustable? Yes. Both red and adjustable. Okay, and we don't have anything else there. So we're going to do that as much as possible. ISS MCC Moscow on stage round two for Andre about the PHO activity. Go ahead and stage round two. Andre, could you call me on stage round one? Okay, copy. I will. Stand by one. We'll pull it just by hand inside. Yeah, you can do that when you start the sublimators. Okay. Well, we probably shouldn't do that. Sergei Prokopiev and uh, Dmitry Patelin are in the process of uh, bagging the uh, experiment packages that they retrieved from the Zvezda service module during today's spacewalk, which has reached the 5 hour 37 minute mark. This view from uh, one of the cosmonauts' helmet cameras showing uh, the inside of the Poisk airlock that leads uh, to the rest of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Hold it. Got it.
что герметично обеспечено. Well, I think it's definitely not leaking. We copy, and you can start bringing the equipment. Crew lock bag. All right, and we are in orbital night. Yep, the night has come. After you bring in all the kids, which route would you like to choose? Do you take the longer route or the shorter route? Maybe um, uh, move along the Estrella. Or I would take it along a circular handrail, and we are looking into a very long LOS. So, guys, you will have to translate, remove container one. It needs to be container number one. You will need to secure it with two uh, using adjustable and uh, red. And you will take the glisser platform and move back to MRM one. Oh, MRM two. Correction. Copy. MRM. All right, take the UKP. Good view inside the Poisk airlock as the two cosmonauts uh, stow equipment and the experiment packages to be brought back inside the International Space Station. All right, the Strela is here. And I'm on the anchor. Did you enter the anchor already? Yes. Copy. The container, UKP, the crew lock bag. Okay, they are in place. Copy.
окончательно также зафиксировал. I have secured it. Okay. Copy, thank you. Unintelligible. All right, we're going to lose video in about a minute. Audio is going to be for a little bit longer. But the LOS is about um, 10 and 10 minutes and some change. This is Mission Control Houston, five hours, 49 minutes into today's spacewalk. The uh, two cosmonauts who have been working outside all day, Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin, are uh, in the home stretch. They're uh, collecting one more experiment package from the outside of the uh, Poisk module near the airlock hatch itself. That uh, a tray of 
biological experiment samples. After they uh, complete that, they will um, make their way back inside Poisk and close the hatch to mark the official end of today's spacewalk. So we are at number one, copy, number one. The uh, two cosmonauts uh, removed and jettisoned a 10-year-old uh, seismic detection experiment from the outside of the Zvezda service module. They retrieved and uh, jettisoned two stanchions as well, installed high data rate transmission radio hardware, removed a tray of experiments from a micrometeoroid impact hit experiment, removed a material science sample experiment tray. They uh, took detailed engineering photos of uh, service module thruster plume deflect defectors, uh, deflectors on the aft end of the Zvezda service module. Uh, which uh, have been in service now for some 23 years, providing propulsive capability for the International Space Station. They also uh, captured uh, a number of photos of the aft end of the service module, as well as uh, the antenna boom interface, basically the boom stanchion, upon which the Lyra high gain and high data rate antenna is located at the very end of the service module itself. With all of uh, their work uh, almost complete now, with the exception of the removal of this biological sample tray, which they're in the process of getting uh, away from a uh, handrail along the uh, Poisk module near the uh, hatch area, they will then uh, make their way back inside, remove a protective ring surrounding the circumference of the hatch that has protected it from any uh, debris hits during the course of today's spacewalk and close the hatch that will mark the official end of today's spacewalk, the uh, 266th spacewalk in support of space station assembly maintenance and upgrades, the ninth out of the International Space Station this year, the seventh for Expedition 69 crew members, and additionally, the third spacewalk in just 17 days. This was the seventh spacewalk for Sergei Prokopiev and the fifth for Dmitry Patelin. All right. All right, could you also please uh, take images of the Estrella as well? I'll try, but it is dark. Um, I'm not sure that you are going to get much out of those pictures. Try Still, could you try and take pictures of the gravel fixture for this trailer? Will do. We're about to move out of range of our tracking and data relay satellite system for about 11 minutes or so. We'll uh, be regaining communications with the International Space Station thereafter. 
as Prokopiev and Patelin uh, begin to wrap up work outside of the hatchway to the Poisk module. Moving towards unintelligible. Do you read us on ShareSS? Yes. We have ShareSS. But we're going to have you for about four minutes, and then we're going to have about a seven-minute LOS. Copy. I did see that. I suggest to do so you're not at the EV hatch so since we have less than about three and a half minutes left we can do this Sergey verify that let's Sergey let's start with you um, two caddy swing arm and the wretched wrench, uh, you have them all, right? And with a moment or two of uh, yes. voice communication still available before we uh, lose signal with the station for several minutes, the uh, two spacewalkers approaching the six-hour mark in today's spacewalk. Uh, they're in the home stretch, of course, as they uh, wrap up work uh, and are taking an inventory of their tools as they um, prepare to uh, re-enter the Poisk airlock and close the hatch. They're all in place. Copy. Glisser and the wretched wrench accounted for. Copy. And three reds, small, small, large, small, and one adjustable. One, two, three, small, one large, small, and one adjustable. Yes, I got them. All right, and for the MRM-2, uh, you have Kepo and accounted for. And you brought in the crew lock bag, the bag, uh, the bag and the pliers. Got them, and you also have the um, crowbar and ukape, all that. Yes, ukape is there. Impact is stowed in the soft container, and uh, you tied the and you, and it is secured, right? Then I would like to suggest to go to your EV hatch, perform one more inspection of the suits, if necessary, wipe everything down, but if you don't need it, then, Sergei, you will be first. Dmitry, 
will be second, and then you are standing by for us to call you. Okay? Leave the protective ring for now. Copy. Copy. We'll um, perform the inspection. Are you in the area of the of the Estrella boom?
This is Mission Control Houston, six hours, six minutes into the spacewalk by Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin. We're expecting uh, to reacquire voice communications momentarily, followed by the resumption of a downlink television capability from the station. When we uh, went uh, LOS, the uh, two cosmonauts were preparing uh, to re-enter the uh, hatch to the Poisk module, having completed all of their work for the day with the retrieval of uh, science packages, the installation of high data rate uh, transmission equipment, the inspection of a variety of areas on the exterior of the Zvezda service module, and uh, the jettisoning of several items, including a 10-year-old seismic uh, detection experiment, two uh, stanchions, holding other experiment hardware, and uh, a pair of towels. All of the work has gone by the book, the crew uh, maintaining a steady pace ahead of schedule, and uh, we will now monitor their return to the airlock and the closing of the hatch that will mark the official end of this 266th spacewalk in support of space station assembly maintenance and upgrades. How do you read us, uh, Dmitry? Is the comeback on? Yes, we read you loud and clear as well. How are you feeling? How are you doing? Inaudible. I have. We have looked around. Uh, well, we, did, we do not see any contamination around the hatch, in front of the hatch. We went inside. We ingressed. We are inside the crew walk, inside the air walk. You can turn off your helmet cameras. Okay, sounds good. After that, you can turn on the heat exchangers and you can start removing the protective ring. Copy. Okay, starting the drying. So we're going to turn the Astera drying. You are going to turn off the sublimators and you're going to set the manual uh, control valve into the manual position and you can turn off the Astera. Copy. Okay, I turned off Esther. I assess MCC Moscow on Space Union 1 for Andre about uh, Kateo. Go ahead, about Kateo. Copy. And for some reason, uh, we don't have it on the second one. No, the second one doesn't get, have it. Did you turn it off? I assist um, in Moscow on 
we don't receive the telemetry. Should I switch it on and off again? So the tab is uh, depressed. Well, the tab. The two cosmonauts back inside the Poisk airlock as they uh, prepare for the uh, closing of the hatch to mark the end of today's excursion. That'll be followed by the repressurization of Poisk before they are given the go-ahead to open the hatch to re-enter the International Space Station. So everything should be three? It should be in position three. Did you turn off the helmet cameras? Yes, we turned off the helmet cameras. Copy. And go ahead and remove the protective ring. Copy. Removing. Uh, also, look at the module flange and the seals. Check for contamination. Copy. We'll do. The rubber seal. I am inspecting the rubber seal. Everything is nominal. Could you repeat your last? Rubber seal. The seal is in nominal condition. Okay, then we need to wait till the sub sublimator drying is complete. Copy.
the view of the Poisk module, uh, which uh, served as the uh, staging point for today's spacewalk. The two cosmonauts are inside as we are moments away from the closing of the hatch that will stop the clock and mark the official end of today's activity. Uh, go ahead, we read you loud and clear. I hear you loud and clear, and thank you. Moscow, safety round one for Andre uh, about hedge closure. Moscow on Space Round 1 uh, for Andre uh, about the Bechawa hedge closure. Moscow ISS on space round one about the uh, uh, airlock. Go ahead, Andre. You can start the hedge closure and a report upon closure. Okay. I am starting to execute step uh, two, item four, decimal 16. That is correct. Standing by. We have uh, one second until the nominal uh, level drop. Copy, if you want, is also complete. You can start the hedge closure. Remove the hook uh, from, uh, from panel 201. Copy. I have released the hook. Copy. 
Okay, I got it. Copy. I closed but did not latch the hatch. And now use the key to close it. Okay, copy. Sounds good. I assess a space ground, uh, I'm calling MCC Moscow Space Ground 1. Uh, we closed the uh, Rupa Hall. Go ahead and uh, continue. So the rollers are in. So we're rotating. Okay, guys, inaudible. You have completed all the tasks and you have even done more. You cleaned the uh, window. Well, and I am impressed. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it all turns out. Loud interference. I wanted to uh, wish you a successful repress. And I am hoping you will get a good break. Thank you very much, and bye. Okay, congratulations on another successful EVA. Thank you very much on all the prep work, and I think everything was well planned, and I think everything worked out very well. And thank you. Bye. Bye. Talk to you tomorrow. For, for Dmitry, but repress, how do you read me? Read you out and clear? ISSMCC Moscow and Space Around 1. Uh, as soon as the hatch is closed, I will work on Section 10. Dmitry prepared the Section 10, Step 4. And on my goal, you will start executing those steps, Dmitry. Okay, a copy section 10, step 4. Prepared uh, section number ten. This is Mission Control Houston. Russian flight controllers in Korolyov outside of Moscow have, have confirmed uh, the time for the closing of the hatch to the Poisk module at 3.48 p.m. Central Time, 4.48 p.m. Eastern Time, bringing to an end uh, today's spacewalk by Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin at 6 hours and 24 minutes. 6 hours, 24 minutes, the elapsed time for today's spacewalk. Okay, and Frank is in the MOM, correct? Yes, everything is correct. Thank you.
А, нет, ну давай, ну давай. Yes. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, the repressurization of the Poisk airlock is underway. Again, hatch closure to complete the spacewalk marked at 3.48 p.m. Central Time, 4.48 p.m. Eastern Time, giving us an elapsed time of six hours, 24 minutes for today's spacewalk. We'll have uh, more comprehensive statistics uh, momentarily.
ISS, NCC, Moscow, on space to ground one. Пагао СУСМХ is closed. I am going to switch to space to ground two for the repress. Yes, go ahead. The hatch is, the hatch is closed. You can switch to space to ground two, and we can also talk on chess. Could you repeat your last? Could you repeat your last? I did not understand. I did not understand your instructions uh, when you told me to switch to uh, conversations on space round two. What was uh, you were saying? Was it you were saying? Well, we might be talking to you on also on CSS. Okay, sounds good. Copy. All. Copy. Talk to you later. MCC Moscow ISS. MCC Да, я тоже слушаю вас. Хорошо, есть небольшие памяти, но все разборчиво. Я нахожусь в ФДБ, лифт ГОС, все у нас все распродублируют. Закрыт. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, the repressurization of the Poisk airlock in work right now by Prokopiev and Patelin at the completion of today's spacewalk. This was the 266th spacewalk in support of space station assembly, maintenance, and upgrades. The ninth spacewalk out of the International Space Station this year. The seventh spacewalk for Expedition 69. We'll get to those totals in just a moment. For Sergei Prokopiev, the Expedition 69 commander, this was his seventh spacewalk. He now has a total of 48 hours and 40 for zero minutes of spacewalking time. Dmitry Patelin uh, completed the fifth spacewalk of his career, now with 33 hours and nine minutes of spacewalking time. The 266 spacewalks in support of space station activities over the years have now totaled 1,689 hours and 51 minutes, or the equivalent of 70, hour, 70 days nine hours and 51 minutes. 70 days, nine hours, 51 minutes of spacewalking time in the history of the International Space Station. And again, uh, the Expedition 69 spacewalks, totaling seven of them, four out of Poisk, three out of the Quest airlock, have now totaled 45 hours and 23 minutes. So again, uh, the spacewalk began uh, this morning at 9.24 a.m. Central Time and concluded a short time ago at 3.48 p.m. Central, 4.48 p.m. Eastern Time. Today's spacewalk, six hours, 24 minutes in duration, in which Prokopiev and Patelin removed uh, science equipment no longer needed on the outside of the Zvezda service module. They installed a high data transmission radio hardware package. They uh, conducted a detailed inspection of the exterior of the Zvezda service module, including extensive uh, photographic documentation. They also took photos of the uh, large boom at the aft end of the Zvezda service module uh, that holds uh, in place uh, the Lyra high gain uh, and high data rate telemetry antenna, removed uh, an experiment near the hatchway to the Poisk airlock containing biological samples, es essentially uh, cleaned uh, one of the windows on the exterior, the external surface of one of the windows on the exterior of the service module as a get-ahead task. So uh, Prokopiev and Patelin uh, worked very efficiently throughout the course of the day, completing all of their work in association with today's spacewalk that ended a short time ago at six hours and 24 minutes.
hundred. Copy. That's good. Two twenty. Copy. We are standing by for the equalization at around 260. And please monitor that the pressure on ODSK can be less than 002. Copy. Two forty. Zero zero six. Copy. Two fifty. Zero zero five is the extra pressure. Copy. SU will need to be closed when you get to 260. We are approaching 260. Closing. Copy send KVD PHO SU closed. And then after you close it, send in the inhibit command. Sergei, what's the um, MRM2 pressure uh, per the MV? And for Andre, on what's the pressure in PHO per the MV? Give me a second. Давление двести девяносто один. Two nine one. And as the pressure equalizes, Sergey. You will have to uh, go to cue card 11, step 5. That's going to be switching to transition to onboard power supply. Copy. On BK3. We have uh, more than 150 uh, for tanks from 1 through 4. Two thirty. O two handle is in uh, open EVA position. O two open EVA. Fluid umbilical connected. And we are deactivating the heat exchanger mode. And disconnect the um, umbri umbilicals and just uh, uh, This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, the repressurization of the Poisk airlock is continuing in smooth fashion. It will be completed uh, a short time from now. Everything going very well. Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin safely back inside Poisk. The hatch was closed a short time ago, wrapping up a six hour, 24 minute spacewalk by the two cosmonauts, the 266th spacewalk in support of Space Station Assembly Maintenance and Upgrades, the 7th for Prokopiev and the 5th for Dmitry Patelin. 
With that, uh, we'll wrap up our coverage for the day. We appreciate you staying with us throughout the course of the day for this spacewalk out of the International Space Station by Roscosmos cosmonauts Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin. This is Mission Control Houston. The mirror you're seeing on his right arm is used for him to be able to look at the controls on his spacesuit. Because he's in the helmet, he can't look down physically, so the astronauts utilize these mirrors in order to see on their chest. Because of that mirror, those controls are backwards on the spacesuit if you were just to look at them straight on. All right, I'm at. Work. A beautiful view of the Earth below. The space station is currently flying over Angola in Africa. Woody, as you continue your translation outboard, you're a straight shot for this translation, but if you can get eyes on Steve's tether, make sure that it's still fair led around the perimeter of S6. We'd appreciate it. That's in my field of view, and it is. It's fair leg. It looks beautiful. So up until it gets to me, i got to do the corner again when you get this. Oh, you want to get that corner again? Well, when, it, when you get me straightened out, because uh, I think it's coming on my back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I see that. S6 is the starboard I, six I truss. Here, this is where we are installing the solar array today. Back side of this uh, APFR again. For fair leading. Copy, Woody. We agree. APFR is the Adjustable Portable Foot Restraint, and Articulating we Foot Restraint. And we need to reinstall for your tether as well, if you need to keep it clear. Um, the APFR does essentially the same thing, if you guys are good with that. Copy, Woody, we're fine with that. Okay. Thanks so much. With those restraint bolts released, you can see the solar array begin to unroll. It is aided by those magnets that snap together. This is the 
helmet camera view from NASA astronaut Steve Bowen. It will take about 12 minutes for the solar array to completely unfurl. I call it the 10% rule. You gotta be 10% smarter than the thing you're trying to operate. My name is Greg Carmouche, and I'm here to test rockets. We supply helium, air, nitrogen, and hydrogen so that they can use them while they're testing the rocket engines on a big stand. We have four compressors. Each compressor puts out 400 standard cubic feet per minute, and we send that to the test site. I'm a mechanical engineer. I did a lot of mechanical things besides go to college. I mean, I worked on my own cars, Heating and air conditioning work, I was familiar with electricity, 
First time I walked out on the engine deck and looked at a space shuttle main engine, I said, man, it was overwhelming, you know. Eventually, you know, you stick to it, and I was able to pick it up. The folks that work here are awesome. There's a wonderful group of men and women who keep this place up and running. When you're here as much time as we are, this place is like family. Being a part of the SLS program is it's a life event, you know. This is going to be the culmination of all that hard work that everybody put in years ago. The mirror you're seeing on his right arm is used for him to be able to look at the controls on his spacesuit. Because he's in the helmet, he can't look down physically, so the astronauts utilize these mirrors in order to see on their chest. Because of that mirror, those controls are backwards on the spacesuit if you were just to look at them straight on. All right, I'm at. Good work. A beautiful view of the Earth below. The space station is currently flying over Angola in Africa. Woody, as you continue your translation outboard, you're a straight shot for this translation, but if you can get eyes on Steve's tether, make sure that it's still fair led around the perimeter of S6. We'd appreciate it. That's in my field of view, and it is. It's fair leg. It looks beautiful. So up until it gets to me, I got to do the corner again. When you get this, oh, you want to get that corner again? No, gotcha. when, it, when you get me straightened out, because it's, uh, I think it's covered on my back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I see that. S six is the starboard six truss. This is where we are installing the solar array today. Backside of this APFR again for fair leading. Copy, Woody. We agree. APFR is the Adjustable Portable Foot Restraint, and Articulating Foot Restraint. Rich Man's Fair Lead for your tether as well, if you need to keep it clear. Um, the APFR does essentially the same thing. 
you guys are good with that. Copy, Woody. We're fine with that. Okay. Thanks so much. With those restraint bolts released, you can see the solar array begin to unroll. It is aided by those magnets that snap together. This is the helmet camera view from NASA astronaut Steve Bowen. It will take about 12 minutes for the solar array to completely unfurl. <laughs> 